Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I think I might be okay here. Sorry, my purr monster decided to awaken from her slumber the second I hit the uh, start streaming button. She needed she needed a treat and some food. So, how it goes. She's adorable though. She's worth it. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. And and my and my feline co-host is wreaking havoc. <laughs> Alright, I think we can get this started. I just wanted to make sure I bought myself a little extra time, but yeah, I think we're I think we're good here. I think we're good. We can stop that. Let's Let's get this party started here. I am so sorry for the delay. Greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph. I have a cat, and she is needy as fuck. <laughs> my, uh, no, nothing like my stream getting <laughs> sidetracked yet before it begins from my purr monster. But, uh, but greetings. I hope everybody's having as good of a weekend as I'm having, even when things go slightly off kilter and not according to plan in any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to play a little more Mech Warrior 5 today. I was actually debating whether or not to play uh, East 5 and finish that off. But uh, today is going to be some Mech Warrior. Uh, and we at the end of the last Mech Warrior session, I did pick up a victor. Um, but yeah, so also Sal, uh, you'll 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 like that you'll get a kick out of this. I I forgot to mention this earlier when I uh, when I crashed your stream this morning. I was still like sort of not awake yet, but uh, I did pick up Chain Together, so uh, I'm gonna be giving that a whirl <laughs> for better or worse. That's 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 gonna be a good time one one way or the other. Whether I'm good at it or very very bad at it, I'm going to guess. That I am not going to be particularly good at that game, but it does look fun. Uh, and so, uh, and so, yeah. Thank <laughs> you've been an inspiration, my good man. <laughs> so let's uh, let's do that. Uh, should be two of these, right? No, <laughs> I oh, I never remember. Oh, would help actually. Good grief! Let's try that again. This time with the correctly spelled. There we go. Should be. Yes. Last played marbles on stream. Good. That's the correct one. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, my good man. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Hello, cat. You're. What are you doing? Hi. I love you, too. Yeah. Okay. Meow. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> she, she's a cat. <laughs> Cat's got a cat. So yes, yeah, so let's. Uh, before this gets really. Uh, before this goes. Just, this is where this turns into like the Twitch version of uh, Seraph's bad karaoke hour. Why don't we get this started and uh, get things rolling here? And while I'm at it, let's try and remember what I was even doing last time. I think last time, let's also reset the game capture transform because I had it nicely zoomed in. And uh, hit the screen. There we go. That's better. No, no. Bad OBS. There we go. Now then, let's fire up some MechWarrior 5 for some stompy robot action. So at the last end of last stream, we did successfully pick up... Why do I not hear that? Did I forget to set my audio? Or am I just still not in there yet? <clears> hmm. <throat> Yeah, it would help if I actually set my audio, wouldn't it? There it is. It's amazing when you actually have things configured correctly. Nice job, Seraph. Yeah, let's load. Let's get back up and started here. This will be fun. I'm actually really looking forward to giving this Victor a try. So we are doing a lot of work on this because we, we jacked it up when we had to recover it for, to begin with. Uh, but one of the nice things about this Victor is, number one, it's an assault mech. It's got some really good weaponry on it. The two Telby 10X auto cannons, solid slugs, those are awesome. They do have a pretty good fire rate. This mech generally should have some good heat performance, and that Guardian ECM really helps us to prevent taking damage. So what we may do is we may end up doing a couple of missions as we make our way back westerly while our basilisk is getting repaired because for the most part everything else within like 50 days we should pretty much have a good working company here 
And so, all right, we're nearing the end of the third succession war. But there's still going to be conflict zones and missions to do. But if I remember correctly, the third six, I, th I want to say the third succession war ended in 3023. But is Seraph crazy about that? Let's see. Could be, could be the end of it. Could be the end of it. Because we're still in, we're in October of 2023. So the next news update we might have is the end of the third succession war. It's, it's going to be close. But what we'll do is we will, all right, so we got to kill a bunch of mechs, but we still have to collect two heavy rifles and collect auto cannon 10 tier fours. We can possibly do a lot of that. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go from one industrial hub to another and we'll, I think what we are better off doing. I just want to give a general destination and it might be that one. Yeah, I think the enemy of my enemy is the next one we're actually going to try to do. So up first is going to be a little bit of logistics. And we're going to cut through that industrial hub on the way over. So you know what? Let's go to this industrial hub, see what's up. It's going to cost us some money to get over there. Well, we got two of our mechs back already. Oh, of course. One of these days I'd love to find out how uh, Tavari gets the uh, clip to appear in the shadow. That is awesome. As soon as I saw that, I was, I immediately from a tech standpoint geeked out. I was like, that looks awesome. I don't know how she got that to work, but that, that would be super cool. <laughs> oh, it's clippy. Oh, I'm getting, so <laughs> oh, oh, I just had some office 95 flashbacks there with clippy. <laughs> So uh, the Puff Badass, I guess it just it obviously is the same name. That's cool. I will look into that. I will definitely look into that because that is that is super neat. Unveils dramatic rework of the Malign Charger mech. Ah, we're finally going to get the Charger variant that isn't ass. Let's take a look here. Let's see what equipment we have. Do we have our heavy? No, the game still doesn't want to give us that heavy rifle tier two that we've been looking for. That's actually a good price. For that tier three PPC. You know what? We'll buy that. We have enough money for it. We can we can now take advantage of cases like that. Yeah, let's let's buy a couple of extras of those. Let's buy those two while we're at it. And let's buy those. Okay, we have plenty of those types of jump jets. I don't need to worry about that. There. Well, there's that. Let's look at the pilots. Oh, we actually do have some decent pilots here. Something for me, big boss? Hmm. Nah, I'm alright with that. <laughs> Let's see. Is there a cantina? Yes, there is. Let's go and see what's up with this cantina. Can I put. Yeah, you should be able to post a link in here. If not. Oh, yep, there it is. Perfect. Yeah, I haven't so far I'm going off the policy of until it's ruined <laughs> until somebody ruins it for everybody else and this is why we can't have nice things. I've left that enabled. That's awesome. Thank you, Sal. I really appreciate it. I, I So we were talking shit about like the <laughs> about Twitch, like the technologies involved. But one thing that Twitch has definitely done right is the community. Everybody I've met on Twitch is like <laughs> is an amazing person. Uh, so I really do appreciate that. that, that they, they definitely do that right. Even though sometimes the platform will just do things sometimes. And we're just like, yep, that's that's Twitch doing Twitch things. <laughs> you know, but we just sort of laugh it off. It is better than the alternative in, from what I've seen. All right. So we can collect two fire starter maps and we're going to start encountering marauders. Yeah, I don't think we're going to encounter that. But collect two fire starter maps, you know... We may already get, we might be getting closer to that. I've got a fire starter, don't I? Yeah, I already have one fire starter. Can I buy another fire starter? No, not going to give me another fire starter, but that might be a good cantina mission because we already have one. So now I only need another and fire starters are 
fairly common. So yeah, let's go with that one. That's what I use, not everyone. Streamer help and Tavari uses that. Ah, gotcha. Cool. Cool. I will take a look at both. That's badass. Let's take a look here. Oh, you know what? I should probably start picking up some... Probably should start picking up some of these, huh? Hard point size, small. Hard point size, large. Heavy hammer fist. Mmm. 12 damage. Well, that does 20 damage. Yeah, considering the expense. Let's start actually investing in these various DLC items, which I haven't actually bothered to get yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. I do love this game though. We're just going to do a little bit of bookkeeping here. Uh, oh, I also keep meaning to do my mech painting. Jeez, it still doesn't want to give me this fucking heavy rifle. Is there a black market anywhere? No, there's no black market. All right. Well, failing that, we can go over here. Let's see. Oh, that's a raid. Greetings, Freakbot. How are you, my friend? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome, raiders. We're playing Mech Warrior 5 right now. We're, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. There was no smooth jazz, was there? Oh, uh, that's... Oh, thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate you handling that shout-out for me. I was literally just about to type all that out, but I appreciate you <laughs> taking care of that for me. I appreciate that. That cheating fuck. Yeah, I hate bosses that heal, man. Or did it get even worse from last time? So, Freak, I was in Freak Buzz stream before starting uh, live today. He's playing Mother 3. Awesome variety streamer. Please feel free to check him out. Check out I Am Sal, too. I, I, obviously, I was chatting with him and did a shout-out earlier, but... Uh, <laughs> we were doing... Ran a fucking side Oh, that's so lame. Actually, hey, Ziltoid, what do we think about that? Oh, so lame. That's fucking right. <laughs> and... Um, Oh my goodness. See, a Mother 3 is a great game, but yeah, there are a couple of bosses in that that I think I would find a little uh, frustration with too. So that that sucks. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Freakbot. But feel free, welcome in. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get our sci-fi uh, stompy robots action on as soon as Sarah finally stops being sidetracked, which will eventually happen. I promise. <laughs> Uh, how's everybody else's weekend doing? Uh, I spent most of my day watching Freakbot play Mother 3 and also taking care of some fence maintenance and uh, trying not to gas me and my cat. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that boss is really, really annoying. So I don't want to do that one because House Curita already dislikes us. We might do one of these. You know what? Let's do that defense contract. Yeah, let's go here. We'll do a defense contract. We'll get ourselves nice and warmed up. Plus, then we can go to that black market. We'll check out the cantina. We'll, we'll try and just do some of these easier cantina operations. With any luck, we could find ourselves a fire starter and salvage it for our cantina operation. That would be super nice, wouldn't it? Oh, we got his transmission here. There we go. Ah, bow and arrow. Here it is. Yep, this one's a good one. So my father, Baron Kincaid of the Free Worlds League, who fought as a mercenary with your father long ago, has passed away. In one of his final requests, he has relinquished his claim over our family's archer and has bequeathed the battle mech to you. Unfortunately, the location of the mech has been lost in time. However, I have discovered four possible locations from my father's notes. I want to fulfill my father's last wish to see his mech, Agincourt, serve your mercenary company once again. I have transmitted the locations to you. So you should know that the coordinates were also sold on the black market by Bowen, my estranged brother. In the name of my father's memory, do not let Agincourt fall into the hands of rogues and treasure hunters. You must act quickly if you want to claim that which is rightfully yours. So despite that, there is actually no, like, time limit. We, we can just go to this whenever we want. But we will still do that fairly quickly because the, uh, Agincourt or Agincourt, it's, it's one of the two. That's a really nice archer. And the AI actually handles it pretty well, which is a real fucking surprise. And we're still not getting any of that stuff, huh? All right, fair enough. Let's do these contracts. Let's do a nice little warm-up contract. We are not taking that because we need 
we need as much curator rep as possible. We're already kind of on the outs with that. All right, we're going to do training day, normally with Battle Hardened Unit at this outpost, but they've been rotated out. We've got a bunch of raw recruits instead. An enemy force is closing in, and judging by all the hardware they're bringing, they didn't get the memo. Save our base, and especially save those Greenhorns. All right, we're going to try and save the Greenhorns. Let's take this. But I also like the idea of trying to go with salvage here. Let's go a lot of salvage. Let's make ourselves some money. Heads up, Commander. Okay. This looks area, pretty good. We're in fairly decent shape here. We got this. We got this, chat. Doing a nice, nice little warm up before things get really hairy. Our contract is to garrison the facility at Nav Alpha against any hostiles that move against us. <laughs> it's only us out here, so let's move quickly to establish a defensive perimeter. Jeez, did you land me far enough away from the defense? Like, it's a friendly site, Rihanna. You could have dropped me off close. Oh, I see why. Because the terrain is complete ass. Oh my goodness, look at this terrain. But anyway. Oof. Can you imagine being in a robot, like a gigantic freaking battle mech like this? It's not a robot, but uh, can you imagine being in this thing and looking at that? in outside the glass <laughs> they did such a beautiful job of the ambience in this game it's really it is really lovely come on stalker get up to full speed here that's the only problem with the stalker it is slow as fuck but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and go up this ridge get some high ground and then proceed to our designated facility that we're supposed to uh protect here is it Maybe I should just switch to one of the other mechs really quick, just while we make our way over there. Might actually not be a worst idea. Come on, Stalker, today! What on earth is that? <laughs> This, uh, I'm beginning to understand why there's an outpost here. This stuff looks super valuable. Holy shit. Yeah, I guess it's been a while since I played this game. I don't remember the environments looking this amazing. Alright, Seraph. Quit being a tourist here. That'll be the other nice spot about getting in the Victor. The Victor is a lot faster than this. Much a much more maneuverable mech. Plus, there's a cantina upgrade that we can get later that will also improve the speed by like I think like something ridiculous, like 10 or 15 percent. It's significant. So yeah, once we actually can enable that, we're gonna be doing that a lot. <laughs> Pretty much with all of our mechs. Almost there. All right, so this is our outpost that we're supposed to defend. It took us a few minutes, but we got here. And usually we get a bonus if we can keep a lot of it intact. I think it's like something like over 80. Looks like we found a place, Commander. All right. We can't thank you enough for coming to our Let's aid, Commander. We have a visual on you. I don't see any enemies. Just the perimeter, Commander. They're heading your way. This is why I like Rihanna. She actually warns us ahead of time that the enemies are coming instead of Darius, who, uh... Let's see, they're coming this way. Yeah, there they are. Oh, come on. That sucked. All right, we're going to lose target lock. Hostiles on radar. Out of range. Got it. Okay. So there was one coming in over there. That's a tank. Alright, so we'll move over here. Position ourselves against the tank. Because the other unit's an airborne unit. We'll still be able to shoot it down once we get over here. And that SRM-60, we have to destroy that immediately. <laughs> the good old Serum Carrier. <laughs> Alright, here it is. 
Yeah, I'm gonna lose target lock on that. Where's our... Where's another airborne unit? I don't see it. That's not good. I don't like that at all. Alright. I don't like the idea of getting lured away from our target, but... I don't even want this getting a shot off if I can help it. I mean, it's going to be rising over this ridge in just a second. Enemy mech forces spotted okay. operating in the area. Watch out for them. Target acquired. Okay, got a J Edgar tank. I think we're going to get back before it opens fire on the facility. But even if it doesn't, yeah, whatever. It was still worth it. Target acquired. Tank on the radar. Target. Contact. Thunder mech. Focus target received, guys. commander. Come on. Give me a lock. There we go. Got it. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Got it. Target destroyed. That was bad. Yeah, let's go this way. Come on, guys. Pull off, mech. Pull off. Base of action here. Hey, Warhammer, I got an idea. Run right in front of me, buddy. Alright, I'll deal with the air horn units. <clears throat> Go after that one, guys. Good job, guys. Back off. Yeah. That. Good. Oof. And they are putting a hun punishment on us. Come on, get out of the way. Thank you. Fuck it. Okay, we got it. Nice job there. Come on, cool down, cool down. See that? It's gone critical. Good. Wilco, focusing fire. Keep critical. Let's do a little evasive while we cool off. My lance mate is going after that. All right, while you guys deal with the javelin, I'm going to come over here and deal with these tanks. Should be able to target. Should be able to get it. There we go. Got it. Good. Worth it. Come on. Don't lose target. Don't lose target. Damn. Okay, we can't hit that from this range. Let's. Got it. Nice shot, Seraph. Let's try and get this Serum carrier now. Oh. I still managed to get it, though, with the large lasers. How I managed to hit that, make that shot, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, appreciate it, Freakbot. We'll see you in a second. Engaging with Lance. Yeah, you guys go deal with that shit. Oh, Christ. We got it. stuff over here. Mm, how do I want to handle this? All right, I'll try and deal with the Locust. Come on. Get a target lock. That's probably the last of that we're going to get. Come on. Got it. Yep, that one's shooting at me. That's fine. The Lance is engaging those mechs over there, so as long as I can deal with this tank that's over here, you know what the tank is? The tank's far enough away. I'm dealing with this. Support the Lance. Now I'll deal with this freaking tank. Now it should be within range. 
You know what? I don't need to worry about that yet. That, bank, that tank is still far enough away. Wow, those were a good couple of salvos there. Enemy mech good. There it is. Gonna cruise around the edge here in a second. Yeah. Wow, that was a nice shot there in the Warhammer. Nice shot, Freeman. I don't think that's gonna hit, but we'll try. Wow, that did hit. All right, we'll take it. Not bad. <laughs> something, something, Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% uh, of the shots you don't take. I did not think that LRM salvo was going to hit that tank. That was nice. Cool. Nice, easy mission there. Mostly it was just managing uh, everything. You know what? Yeah, let's take two javelins and we'll take this LRM 10. That works. Perfect. Good salvage. Good salvage run. And we leveled up. Cool. That's very, very nice. We didn't take very much in the way of damage. Prepare you. Prepare you. We'll repair you. We'll repair you. In the meantime, one javelin over here. And at that stage, we no longer need to keep this javelin. So let's sell that one. Yep, sell that. Perfect. Good deal. Yeah, there's no reason to spend, uh, no reason to keep it. That was worth it. Cool. Now then, we've got a black market and a cantina there. Let's travel there. Our mechs will get repaired in the meantime. See what else we've got. That was a nice warm up. Okay. I like two fire starter mechs. Well, let's take a look at the mech market. Yeah, of course, no fire starter. That would have been all too nice. Still have to kill, kill five assassin mechs. But depending on what we see in the cantina, we may end up just abandoning some of these for better things. We really might. Let's see what the cantina's got. Collect one Shadowhawk mech. You know what? I think we already have a Shadowhawk mech. Man, we see a lot of Jenners. That might be better too. And ooh, we can do this one for sure. Because I think we do have a Supercharger Mark II. Collect two Supercharger Mark IIs. Do we already have that? Yeah, we've got an arena supercharger. Supercharger? Yeah, we do have it. So, yeah. All right, let's take a look at our operations. Let's take a look at our objective logs. And we've got one one of these. All right, let's abandon that one. And we still don't have any of these. Now, granted, it was, would be really nice for the double heat sinks. But my God, if it would just give us the freaking heavy... If it would give us that, that'd be really nice. Auto cannon 10 tier 4. Yeah, finding AC finding those are gonna be really hard too. So let's let's forget this one too. Let's abandon that one, unfortunately. Would have been nice if we could have gotten it, but let's do this one right now. Cash it in. Good deal. Claim. We'll take some money. We'll get some rep. And now let's go back into that cantina. Okay, do I have Shadowhawk already? I do not already have a Shadowhawk. Damn. We could keep an eye out for a Shadowhawk. We do see a decent number of them. Could go for that. What's the reward on that? Well, tier five flamers. So that part's pretty nice. Uh, we do tend to see a bunch of Jenner mechs. So yeah, we'll accept that. You know what, for now, fuck it. Let's let's see if we can collect a Shadowhawk. Why not? Do we want to do any of the missions that are here? Pillage. Probably not. Restricted Hellstorm. I don't want to do emissions against the Independents, so no, we're not going to do any of those. 
Let's see. Occupied Merrick territory. I think that's for bow and arrow. We can start on that. Or we can go down here and deal with the enemy of my enemy. Which one is... Bow and arrow is eight. So, yeah, bow and arrow should be a little easier. Why don't we do the more manageable bow and arrow? Rather than... The enemy of my enemy, which is nine. Yeah, let's do this bow and arrow, plus I know the, uh... The Agincourt, or Agincourt, whichever, is, uh... Definitely worth getting. And then we could deal with some of these high reward quest things that are over here. And we can finally go back here and finish off our war zone. Yeah, let's do it. Equipment. Nothing that we want. Not seeing anything particularly good. Cool. Let's do it. Let's travel. So we just spent months in space, practically, with just like a little bit of a detour for that one mission. But hey, we were able to pay for the travel and for some of these things. Shadowhawk, no, no shadow. Oh, that's actually, a, that's not a bad Mac. The Black Knight is not a bad Mac. I'm going to pass on that. That's somewhat tempting, but yeah, that, that, that is not bad. Salt. Salt Katana? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you know what? Sure. Heavy knuckles, huh? Medium. Heavy hammer fist. Sure. Heavy trench blade. Alright, at least now we've got some of these. Actually, we should... You know what? Just in case our stalker gets really fucked up, now we've got good ones. I don't know about that. I still don't like the idea of buying a whole bunch of PPCs, but you know what? I'll buy two of them only because they're such high tier weapons. And yeah, we'll buy that SRM too. It's that high. And we'll buy two of these. Perfect. Done. Mysterious bird like ah the raven. <laughs> Mysterious bird like battle mech sightings. Yes. I'm kind of curious. Did I miss the end of the? Uh... I may have missed the end of the um, third succession war. I didn't feel like I did, but now we're in thirty twenty four. So maybe I did. Maybe I did miss it. All right, well, fuck it, whatever. Let's do bow and arrow. Is the, uh, ooh, our victor is ready. The victor is ready. Let's see. Yeah, I think the gar the stalker is worth bringing in with us. That's a good war hammer to bring in with, with us. That's a good war hammer to have in reserve. We'll go with that. This is a good mech layout here. All right, it's finally coming together. Let's do this. Let's give this new mecha tr Oh, uh, real quick. Battlebooks. Let's... Okay. So I usually don't like messing around with the hero mechs, but let's try and paint this thing. For the love of all that is holy, can I figure out a good pattern? Applejack. Digital. Fractal, hmm. Polygon. Ah, <sighs> Snowfall. Garden. Yeah, maybe something like that. You know what? Urban black doesn't look bad. All right, so primary. What happens if we just do this black? Okay, black's not bad. All right. Go with um. You know what, let's try. How do I make this actually legitimately orange? Okay, that works. 
something like that. Let's go. <sighs> no, purple does not work. Purple does not work. What about teal? That is not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Let's apply, and then instead of apply all, select none, and we'll select these other mechs. Uh, not the Wolverine, because that's a hero mech. Actually, not the trebuchet either. That's a hero mech. But we'll at least paint our others. Perfect. Okay. That will do for now. We'll do now. And you know what? We'll save that as custom. Custom skin name. Uh. Will it replace? Okay. No, it won't. <laughs> we'll just go with that. Maybe I could delete, delete it later. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I think we already did that. Yeah, so let's apply. Perfect. All right. How does that look? It's at least an improvement to what it was. I'll keep it for now figure something out. Okay. Agincourt. This isn't the one I'm thinking of. So, let's go with... Yeah. And then we'll go with these amount of salvage shares. That should be good, chat. I think so. We're going against outlaws. Let's primarily make ourselves some money. And we're also going to go with some salvage. Victor. Hell yeah. Okay. Now that I'm looking at it, that is a bit of an eyesore. Damn. I really suck at this whole mech painting thing in this in this game. <laughs> it's it's only marginally better than that puke green standard paint color scheme. Alright. That first destination from Kate was picked clean by an unknown force. I was able to track the looters' steps back here, to a remote staging area. Go in, and level their base. Let's see if they have that archer. Alright, so far I, I like the layout of this mech. Let's set up the weapon groups though. Ballistic. I always like the ballistic being my primary. And then our streak SRM-2, we're essentially making it a streak SRM-6 by aligning it to the third weapon group. And once again, Streak SRMs are short-range missiles that lock on. They're awesome. Father used to tell me stories of his days working with Kincaid. They sounded close. Still, I never met the guy. Why would he bequeath his mech to me? He had his own family. Shouldn't Kincaid or one of his other children be the ones inheriting it? Kincaid was a complicated man. He was noble-born and served in the Free World's Guards, one of the most prestigious units in the Free World's League. But he was a drunk with a mean temper who, through a series of events, saw himself dishonorably discharged. He quickly became a pariah to both the military and the Marik court. On the verge of losing everything, he traveled to the mercenary star Galatea, where your father found him drinking himself into a hole in the back alleys of Galatea City. He gave the Baron a new lease on life, and was a key force in King Kincaid turning his life around for the better. I guess he felt that he owed it to my father for saving him from himself. Target. There it is. I'll leave the rest of the demolition job up to you, Commander. Shit. Well, this sucks. Okay, so that was bad. Let's get the hell away from that freaking awesome. Target received, engaging. Yeah, deal with that awesome. <laughs> that thing is a problem. All right, now that we've broken line of sight to it. Ah, come on. Well, we're fucking it up. Shit. Okay. Alright, so I need 
adjust that. Oh, you little bastard. Good. Okay, good. Deal with that. Okay, let's not do that again. <laughs> oh, fucker managed to hit me. Come on, Seraph, hit it. Jeez. Let's cool off a little bit here. Better? Okay, we're getting there. I gotta get used to this mech first. Definitely gotta get used to it. Oof. Cool down. Yeah, the SRMs really heat this fucker up. Oh ho ho, direct hit on you, little bastard. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna go right over here. <laughs> oh, we gotta demolish the base. Okay. That's what we're supposed to do. Let's destroy this thing. Now, if I'd known that, I would have uh, brought in a uh, airstrike support. Yeah, the easiest thing sometimes, just walk through it. <laughs> oh, I missed it with the shot. That's all right. We still know. Did that fucker just crash on me? That would suck so much. Oh, that's a turret. Problem solved. Hit that. That's explosive. Oh, we got another mech coming in. Ah, come on. Wow, I killed it that fast? All right, we'll take that. Figures now they send assassins after us. Oh, ho, ho, okay, that was a nice shot. Let's come on, get over here and cover. Break the line of sight to those assholes. Okay, I'm liking this victor. Shit. Ah, how'd I miss it? There we go. Oof. Okay. These guys are doing some damage to me. Let's get away from that. Fun. This way. Oh, fucking tanks. Come on, shoot. Oh, I lost my... Am I out of ammo? I'm out of ammo. Fuck. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Damn. Alright, so I gotta be more careful about ammo on this thing. For sure. Now, let's burn the rest of this frickin' base down. Shit! I hate demolition missions for just this reason. It takes forever to demo the place. Ugh. Oh, God, and they're dropping another fucking... Mm. It takes so long to break these places. Come on, come on, just walk through the walls. That's easier. I'm out of fucking ammo. I can't believe I'm out of fucking ammo. All right, we got it. But it looks like that archer was never here to begin with. Seems these treasure hunters turned up nothing. Best get back to the dropship. Hopefully, we'll have better look at the next location. Man, I lost a lot of armor. Oof. Oh, come on. No, 
stop shooting at me. Taking too much damage. Just want to get out. Where's that tank? Yeah, I know, I know. They're fucking us up now. Stupid demolition missions that take too long. Of course, it didn't help that I didn't even piece together that it was a demolition mission. I thought we were on defense. Stupid me. But at least we got this shithead. Now, let's just get the hell out of here. Alright, so that's one issue. The Victor doesn't have a lot of ammo for this. So that's a problem. Man, I went through the ammo like it was nobody's business. But still not a bad mech. I mean, we still took out things really quickly. Ugh. Let's see. What do we want? Tier 4 weapon is always nice. Well, now that answered that question for me. So, sure. Yes. All right. Still got at least a good amount of salvage. Oh, man. You lost an arm and a leg. Yeah, that tends to happen. With the Warhammer. That does tend to happen. Man, they really swarmed us. But, yeah, if I if I had an idea that we needed to demo, do a demolition there, I definitely would have taken an airstrike. That would have helped. Okay. Commander, if there's some digging, I believe the coordinates Bowen sold us on the black market may have been fake. Gee, you think, Kate? Seems like he's trying to make as much money as he can off our dead father. At the same time, he's creating chaos at the locations we have yet to investigate. Likely to provide cover for his own search for the mech. Bowen already seems to be flooding the second location with accounts of a lost mech found at coordinates that coincide with military installations. You must stop these signals to end the spread of misinformation that threatens the peace of the Libstock system. Alright. Well, let's... First off, is there a industrial hub sim close by? Let's go there and repair our really fucked up Warhammer. What we may do is we may take a look at changing up the Victor a little bit. Now that we've had a chance to experiment with it a little. I think... I think we're better off... Uh, no. So let's go into the loadout. Repair all... Yeah, you're out of PPC. No surprise there. What's the best? What do we got? What do we got for PPC repairs here? Uh, nothing but good shit. Let's not give you anything good. That works. That definitely works. Still going to take a good, better portion of 40 days. But that's not the end of the world. Okay. The rest of you are much more mundanely damaged. Let's take a look at the loadout for this. Okay. Let's repair all. Let's see. So those are fairly good. We actually have some very good auto cannons that we could put in there. But they're not solid like these are. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to substitute these with these. Because right. these weigh a whole lot less, but they also do more damage. So if I line my shot up right, and it's got a better range. It's got a six, 776 range instead of um, 540. So the objective there is we have better range. We've got better damage, like by nearly double. <laughs> so yeah, 30% extra range, double the damage, significantly less weight. I mean, that's just like a no-brainer. Heavy rifle ammo. Unfortunately, I only have this amount of heavy rifle ammo. That's not great. <sighs> I'll try and get some more heavy rifle ammo later. For now, that's just the best it's going to be. Although I could now put a weapon in that and have something for... I could do that. 
We could do that. Could put in some more Streak SRM ammo. Although, at the moment, I feel like I've got more than enough Streak SRM ammo. Let's see. I only have two Assault Knuckles, huh? Wait, what? That's not what I wanted. Didn't I have something on there? Am I crazy? No, oh, alright, fine. <laughs> so we've upgraded the melee weapon damage of this mech. Okay, so now it's going to be 32 damage instead. It's not terrible, but now I've got four tons that I don't know what to do with. That's the only problem. It's the only problem. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I could put another uh, couple of heat sinks on here, but let's boost the armor. Let's make the mech more survivable, especially in the arms. Especially in the fucking arms. All right, well, better armor. We'll take better armor. I like more armor. So have three more tons to play with, huh? I guess they don't have any rifle armor or rifle ammo on sale. That would have been nice. really don't have rifle ammo, huh? All right, fine. I could put more double heat sinks on this, but I think instead what I'll do is I'll just put single heat sinks on here. That'll do. Slightly better heat, heat exchange. Granted, I don't think this mech's going to heat up anyway. Actually, that's what I could do. Okay, you know what? Oh, hold on. I know what Seraph's going to do. Yep, that's what we're doing. Pulse laser time. Perfect. Sure, we'll put one more single heat sink in there just to round out the center torso. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, that'll take 50 days. Okay, not the end of the world. In the meantime, we still have our search for a Shadowhawk and a heavy tier rifle. Fine. Let's go up here really fast. See if there's anything there. Like a tier 2 heavy rifle. We'll swing through this industrial hub. We'll look for these cantinas. Hopefully there's a Shadowhawk or two rifles on sale. If not, back down we go. By the time we arrive, our max will be ready. Okay. <laughs> that is that is worth it. That is worth it. Rifle. Not selling rifle ammo. That's unfortunate. SRM Artemis half ammo. You're not selling SRM Artemis ammo. Lame. Still not selling the rifle I want. Could buy another Warhammer, but we're not. To Savannah we go. Come on, guys, give us something good. Please give us something good. Masking nicely here. Hey, caramba, here. And we'll see if we have better luck. Oh, ho, ho, yes. We always buy double heat sinks. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Even if we don't get the shit we were looking for, the fact that they had double heat sinks for sale fucking ruled. Uh, I will buy those too. Sure. Those tend to be pretty good. Okay, that looked like a lot. And sure. 
I don't have anything that's really getting blown off at this point. Oh. Come on. Ugh. Well, so much for that. That sucks, man. Well, there's some hero mech on sale here. We got 22 days till our basilisk is ready. I don't really feel like figuring out what hero mech is on. Fine. What's the hero mech? <laughs> is it a waste of our time? 10 to 1 odds that this is a waste of our time. It's probably like a hero urban mech or some shit. But one time I was over here, I did manage to score a fucking hero commando. Yeah, that that's bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Now, one strategy you like, theoretically could do is start buying these even though I don't intend to use them, but just get the hero mechs out of circulation so that when a hero mech is for sale, it makes it much more likely that it's going to be something that we want. So, I mean, it could just buy it just to get it off the fucking market. I just hate wasting two and a half million just to get a freaking thing off the market. Oh, that sucks so much. Yeah, that sucked. But yeah, I mean, I knew. I knew. I can't even blame the game at that point. I, I knew better. <laughs> but that one time, that one time I went to, I think it was in Merrick space anyway. And I managed to score a hero Warhammer Black Widow, which has four machine gun hard points. Well, four small ballistic hard points, but you put machine guns on that thing. And boy, the Daka Daka. Oof. That mech just obliterates things. It's glorious. It really is great. So I don't own any assault from the great sword. That does 103 damage, although for eight tons, but my god. Yeah, I'm not I'm not spending eight tons on a on a mech. That's that's not happening. That's not happening. Something like that, maybe, but no. <laughs> no, just no. Ooh. Wow, I've got a couple of these. I own three of these already? I must have gotten them from a, uh... I must have gotten those from a Cantina mission. Yeah, we, we're gonna buy the Tier 5 stuff. For sure. Heavy rifle ammo. Yes. We need heavy rifle ammo. I already have a bunch of these. That works. Contracts. Time for more campaign nonsense. All right. Bonus forces using satellites to stir misinformation and disarray into this hunt for the mech. Put a stop to the signals before things get even worse. And then we'll be able to resume the search. So what I'm probably going to do is the next time I can refit the quick, um, the Victor, as I'm going to take off that uh, single heat sink that I put in the center torso, and I'm going to load another ton of ammo onto it. That way I don't have to worry about it as much. go with it okay and let's see let's see how this goes maybe this will go better fingers crossed <laughs> oh and hell's already breaking loose we should start getting closer to legend of the kestrel lancers too Unless I'm getting my years mixed up. Well, the, I feel like the general Legend of the Kestrel Lancers takes place in 2026. We have an inline from Kate who wishes to oversee the progress of our mission. Setting her up on comms now. Greetings, mercenary. I hope you don't mind me observing the mission. I didn't realize the lengths my brother would go in keeping this mech from you. When I learned of this massive deception network, well, I just want to help in any way I can. 
I appreciate that, Kate. What I don't appreciate is chasing down false leads to collect what's mine. You can thank my brother, the black sheep of the family, for that. He'd rather the archer fall into the hands of a stranger than honor his father's dying wish. Frankly, you can do whatever you want with the mech. I just want my brother to end his obsession and come home. All right, so far so good with this. Even though the heavy rifle is generally low tech instead of the lost tech that I just had, but... And the rate of fire on it sucks. But if you're accurate with it, thinking this should be a nice, a nice new configuration. Now, why wouldn't that fire? That's a little disturbing. Got a satellite array there. Yeah, I'm out of range. Damn it. Yeah, the heavy rifle sucks with the rate of fire. That's the issue with it. Good job, guys. Thank you. Oh, we got company. There we go. Take that, you little bastard. Come on, reload. Okay. But, the nice part... We're gonna have company over here. We may as well deal with it. Fuck. I was trying to go for a headshot. I got cute. Good, you're... Burn that target down. Come on. <laughs> okay, this has its uses. I just have to be much more... Strategic about it. Good job, guys. Whoa, you got fucked up, Marsh. Jesus. He melted the armor off your mech, buddy. Right, so up here we go. So I think what we'll do is we're going to go over here. Yep, this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. Hey, Crosshair, greetings. Yay, doggo! We love our doggos! Less scoff, more rough! <laughs> Damn, my ammo's already low. Shit. Yeah, that's all the more reason- I'm gonna have to be much more selective about that. Fuck. Well, I still have good SR- Ah, oh, fucking A. There's a mech in there. That's not your problem. Good job. All right. So in the meantime, let's... You. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay, good job, guys. Did I seriously go in here with two Warhammers instead of my Stalker? I did. Damn it. Alright, not the end of the world. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I was talking to chat instead of, like, at that point I thought I was on cruise control for a little while. We love our big dogs. Yeah, growing up, I always had big dogs. Really nothing coming up out of that hole? Okay, wow. All right, well, I thought something... Yeah, there's the tank. Little bastard. Oh, I 
turret came out of there. Damn. Okay. So that's the case. Yep, this is a Warhammer I'd much rather have. Okay. Since I'm already low on ammunition on the uh, Basilisk. That is the problem with that mech. Because of the two cannons, you really need like four tons of ammunition in the thing to not have to worry about ammo. <laughs> that oh, are you serious? Target destroyed. Okay. You now let's head over here. See if we could find this target we have to destroy over here. And then we can uh fight with high ground over there. That would be nice. Have you modded Ghost Recon Wildlands before? I haven't, because I've also never played uh, Ghost Recon. There it is. Wilco, focusing fire. Deal with that in a second. Right. Now we'll go deal with this shit. This Warhammer's coming up here. I was hoping I could actually destroy that satellite dish before this Warhammer came up here. Yeah, let's do it. Don't do that to me. Right, I've got machine guns. Oh, damn it. Ammo explosion. Damn it. Stupid Panther got an ammo explosion on me. What a bastard. Come on. Hey, Archer, why don't you take out the turret that's just chewing away at your armor there, buddy? Ugh. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. <sighs> oh, Come on, guys, deal with that thing. Come on. Okay, let's get in here. So we're out of the out of the target. That thing. Come on, we got it. That cycle around, circle around for another past. Now we'll deal with you. That's enough out of you. Yeah, I got your attention there, didn't I, little bastard? That fucker. Fuck. Fucking hunchback, man. Ugh. Hate these guys. Oh, Seraph, how'd you miss that? Ugh. Well, this turned into a fucking fiasco. Stupid hunchbacks. Alright, well, we finally got it. Wow, the whole lance is really in trouble here. We're all just fucked up and in really bad shape. What are the controls? What is the melee attack? 
since I have it. Oh, it's probably, uh, right, weapon groups. Assault knuckles, yep. So let's bring that to four. Yep. All right, looks like we're, uh, looks like I'm going to be punching a lot of shit. God damn, we're only halfway through this. Oh. I can repeat the same line out. This game have controller support? Um, I'm not really sure because I've never played uh, Ghost Recon. Target destroyed. Yeah, I can't reach that. I hate these things. Oh, fuck sakes. Alright, you guys deal with that. Come on. Now, damn it. Oh, of course. Get your shot off. Cheap shit. Now, let's see if I can hit this thing. Man, this mission has been uh, a lot harder than I kind of expected. Oof. Let me actually... That's not fair. I shot that thing. Boy, oh boy. Good grief. Uh, oh, does this game have controller support? Um, I think so, yes. I know they built it um, in mind with consoles. Got it. So I think so. I'm pretty sure. Man, they're just ins These guys are just incessant. What the fuck is this? I'm wishing I hadn't changed my uh, mech configuration for the Basilisk here. Not that guy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just oh for fuck's sakes. Enough with the turrets. <laughs> my god. Um see I'm like 90 I'm like 90% sure that it has controller support. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, this went sideways. Of course, it didn't help that I had an ammo explosion that blew off the frickin' Warhammer torso. So, uh, half my lance only has half their weaponry. This is also my fault. I forgot to swap out. I thought I was coming in with a Victor, a Stalker, a Warhammer, and an Archer. Not two frickin' Warhammers that both have uh, issues with losing limbs. Thank you. Finally managed to get that working right. That ain't happening again. Thankfully, we only have one more satellite uplink to get rid of. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Please don't think show up out of that. I think we've had enough. Turret. Thought I was out of range of it. But I still managed to get it. Oof. Hmm. We'll probably have at least two more mechs to have to fight through. Thank you, Juarez. I googled it. says it does have control. Oh, thank you, Ghosty, for confirming. As opposed to me just going, uh, I think so. 
I mean, I know it was on PS5 and PS4, so I felt fairly confident that it would, but it is always nice to know for sure. Yeah, freaking Jagger unit. The only issue I so far, well, I had long ranged weapons, except I burned through them. <laughs> Bastard, I can't hit it from here. Okay, you little shit. Good, somebody else shot that thing down already. Oh, you fucking bastard. Alright, I'm gonna prioritize this hunchback. That was worth it. <laughs> oh, that was a great shot. Ah, oh, fine. Okay, we got it. Oof. My goodness. Oh, that's... Alright, I'll deal with the tank. Shit head. Oh, come on. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Oh. Target destroyed. There's another tower down. Why is Bowen going to this much trouble to disobey his father's dying wish? My brother was just a boy when my father was discharged from the free world's guards. Get it the hell out of here. My father who became a pariah. It was our entire family. Bowen himself was kicked out of the Princefield Military Academy. Barred from re-enlisting with the military as a retaliation by the League for our father's actions. Bowen saw his life dissolve into isolation and uncertainty. And as a result, turned to a life in the black market. My brother has always blamed my father for the loss of the life he could have had. Yeah, this mech needs Break. twice the AI ammunition it has right now. <laughs> that will put an end to Bowen's falsehoods. Sadly, this second location was also a bust. Head back to the dropship, Commander. Kate has just supplied us with the coordinates for the third location. Yeah, we're gonna need to really we're gonna need to re-equip and reload again. This time retooling the uh, Victor a little bit. You motherfucker. Nope. Oh. Enough with this shit. I'm out of range. Good. I mean, these medium pulse lasers actually do a pretty decent job of destroying turrets and tanks and whatnot, but oof. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. All right, let's try this again. This time without the fail, but we didn't. We didn't have any of our mechs cord. <sighs> yeah, sure. We'll take one of those. We'll take a panther, and yeah, we'll take that. I don't think there's. Yeah, we'll take a medium laser Mark III, two or three. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage we, we sustained. Okay, but we still... All right, we made some of that money back through that. Commander, with Bowen's misinformation now no longer transmitting, if he wants to claim the mech, he'll need to oppose us more directly. This could make him a more dangerous adversary as our search narrows down. The third location appears to be a an abandoned garrison facility. Some automated turrets seem to be the only thing here, but I'm sure that this is the place. We need to move in and secure this location, but be aware that Bowen may move to confront you with his own forces. Be careful. I don't think Bowen's here. I think we're still going to have another one to go. Let's see. Man, you're not going to do that for us. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's go back to this one. Let's go back here. Let's repair. And let's retool a little bit more here. Ah, okay. 
And from what you heard, the uh, Xbox, PS4, and PS5 versions are pretty good. No heavy rifle. Wait. Awesome. Thanks for that. No heavy rifle. Ammo. Of course not. Okay. Let's let's take a look. Yeah. Mech needs repairs. No shit. Okay. So let's take that out. And let's take out the medium pulse lasers. Let's go back down. Go that way. Why? God, please, why? <laughs> Put heavy rifle ammo in there. <laughs> Let's double the ammo we've got. Hey Nate, how are you, my friend? We're uh We're we're sort of doing this. How are you? How are you this weekend? <laughs> okay, I'm thinking We do have a few of these tier three, tier four medium lasers. So against my own better judgment. Or do I just go with the tier three medium laser and be done with it? Now let's let's go with this, and if I lose them, then I can substitute them with these. But let's go with the better, let's go with the better stuff. All right. Okay. Much better. <laughs> ah, lurking for the fast match. Yeah, that didn't that didn't go so well. <laughs> but I'm thinking keeping my primary mission weapon a little bit longer will help. <laughs> I'm thinking that will help. Uh, let's also take a look at the market. Let's see. Okay, I don't see anything particularly interesting here. All right, so let's start work on that. Okay. It really wasn't all that damaged. These other ones, yeah, these other ones got jacked up here. Uh, all right, so my small laser, yeah, PPC. I'm glad I didn't put a better PPC in there. Where are you? Oh, that's market. Why are you in the market? PPC, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? And we just got this one. Okay, fine. You can go with that one. And small laser. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got here? Small laser. Small laser. There we go. Small laser. Wow, I've got only tier four small lasers. Okay then. Well, since I've got them, let's put them in there. I'm actually tempted to take out the machine guns and to put in um, the better machine, the, the tier five machine guns. They're really, really good machine guns and we've got five of them. So it wouldn't be catastrophic for me to lose these. They do a shit ton of damage. They do an absolutely Shit ton of damage. Uh, do you have the ton of space fracture armor? So I've already... Are we referring to the Warhammer here or are you referring to the Victor uh, just before? Because I've already added armor to the Victor. I've pretty much almost maxed it out. I think there's only like a half a ton I theoretically could add to the Victor. This mech? Um, yeah, it looks like I could add more. So what I could do is I could just take the machine guns out. So that's what I did with the other Warhammer. I took out the machine guns entirely and just devoted it to armor. So I could do the same for this one, considering the AI generally pilots it. So here's the reason why I'm thinking about it. Because if I switch to the Warhammer in the event that the Victor gets a little damaged, even though the AI doesn't use machine guns very well, I do use machine guns very well, or any other human player would use the machine guns very well. And so I'm debating on whether or not to put in, uh, to put in the better machine guns on this match mech that way if I switch to it I can completely fuck up something if I really really wanted to um, but yeah that's certainly a question of whether or not to just go max armor on this guy because that's always a good option armor is always because you're always outnumbered and so you always want to be able to pile on the armor if you can so maybe I should just do that because these things are always losing yeah, let's just do it. Let's just take away... Let's just take away that. It's two tons. And let's go... We'll put, a, we'll put three more here. We'll put three more here. Because these guys do get fucked up a lot. And... Just for the amusement of it. Okay, so that's one ton of ammo. Or armor. 
could just put in another heat sink just to help it cool off a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just put in another heat sink in here. All right, this mech will run a little bit cooler and it will be significantly more armored. So yeah, yep, doing it. Very good. Nope, good call, good call. We'll just make both of them this way. So I had already done that with this one. I had already kind of maxed out the armor, as you can see here. Same thing, let's go over to the small laser. Okay, so the easier way to do that is just to click on this, <laughs> and then you can just select it. Just instead of scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling forever. All right, same thing with this. Yeah, we're not putting an ER PPC in you, forget it. You'll get your damn arm blown off for the trouble. Yeah, for now, we'll just do that. We already have these tier ones. I'll just toss that in there without spending any money. Okay, let's start work on you. Yep, 35 days. This time, I'm not going to... Uh, Panther. Do I already have a Panther? You know what? We'll just do a two Panther, because sometimes these cantinas, they want two of them. Okay. So if that works. Let's take a look. Have a heavy tier, heavy rifle two for sale? No, of course not. Why would you have that for sale? Why would you have something I want on sale? Bastards. <sighs> so we've got another cantina available up here. Could go up there and just check it out. Do that really fast. Let's go check out the cantina. I am trying to get these cantina missions filled up as quickly as I can. I'm actually not being very efficient with it, but we're trying. Man, kill for a heavy rifle tier two. It really doesn't want to give it to me though. I'm not sure why it's being so resistant on giving me that one in particular. That's actually a really good marauder. Hmm. No, it's okay. We'll be all right. Actually, the awesome is pretty nice too. <laughs> like the, the, the awesome is a good mech. To some extent, the awesome may actually be better to bring than the than a stalker. And the AI ha tends to handle the awesome pretty well, all things considered. For the most part, the AI tends to be able to use mechs with PPCs a lot. I don't know. That becomes an interesting question. I'm beginning to think about putting this trebuchet back in cold storage here. And I'm getting close to doing the same with the Wolverine. I really don't see a whole point of that. I should think about this. Hmm. Hmm. Could just buy this Marauder. It's not cord, so it wouldn't be that... I mean, it's expensive to buy, but it wouldn't be all that expensive to repair it and have an extra heavy mech in reserve. And the Marauder tends to not take as much damage as a Warhammer does. Tends to. Tends to be a little more survivable. Hmm... We could also buy this awesome. And so what I tend to do with an awesome is take out the head small laser and put the target acquisition gear in it because the AI uses target acquisition gear really, really well. And so that ends up being a good combination also. Question is, what would the awesome replace? Well, the awesome would replace, the awesome would probably just replace the Warhammer entirely. Yeah, that awesome would just replace the Warhammer. We could afford that. So maybe I should just do that. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's buy this awesome. Okay. And now let's do the loadout. Okay. Repair all. Take away that small laser. Okay. Target acquisition gear. Where is it? There it is. Tag. We're going to put that right in there. PPC. PPC. 
could put in a PPCX, but it's not so crazy. Let's do that. All right. We will... Hmm. That's our question. How do I handle that? Right. The target acquisition gear is one ton. The small laser is 0.5 tons. Could just take away a heatsink. I mean, the mech certainly has enough of them, and one heatsink really isn't that big a deal. So let's take away one heatsink. Okay, we've now maxed out the armor, except for that. Perfect. Okay. Much better. This will do. This will do. Okay. Alright, everything's now repairing. Perfect. Let's go into this. Let's go to paint mech. Let's apply all. We select none. Let's select awesome. Apply. Perfect. So now when we go escape, go awesome here. Our mech's now painted. Perfect. There it is. It doesn't look too bad. Okay. Okay. We're for the most part repaired. Let's take a look at the cantina. Is there anything better in the fucking cantina? Good grief. Yeah, well, that's a lot, but we don't really need those. 12 kill. Oh my god. Uh, well, we certainly run into enough urban mechs. Jesus. War dog is nice. Although the narc missile beacon, who really gives a shit? But we're going to have those, so let's buy it. We'll, we'll take that one. Mech Hunter. We definitely run into a lot of urban mechs. And having a large pulse laser that's tier 5 is pretty sweet. I do like the double heatsink. But I don't recall running into that many Jager mechs. And we do seem to run into just a fuck ton of Irvies. So let's do it. Let's see how this goes. Will it give me fucking tier 5 heavy rifle? Not going to do that. All right, I think we came here on the way up. Yeah, I don't. Know. Let's just go to let's just go to Fernando here and get this rolling here. So that thing looks like a thousand metal lunchboxes welted together, right? That's why it's awesome. <laughs> and that is why it's awesome. No, seriously, the awesome is awesome. It is a really awesome mech, especially in the hands of a good pilot. So let's do this. And uh, anytime you ever want to hop in, by the way, Nade, feel free to let me know. I know, obviously, you got stuff going on this weekend, but that is an open invite. We've played that. We've played this game before. It's a fun time. Collect one Shadowhawk. Nope, still not giving me the Shadowhawk. Although, you know what? I don't know if I. I think I checked the mark. No, I did check the mark mark. That's why the awesome was there. All right, let's do this. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Secure the abandoned facility so that we can search it for the archer. Yeah, this. This mission hurts. I. I don't. I remember not liking this mission. Oof. But let's do it. All right. This should be a better configuration. So this time, uh, actually, awesome. We need the awesome in here. Okay. You are gonna bring in the stalker, and then you'll bring in the carry in the lead with the archer. That works. Um, let me actually just make sure while I'm thinking about it. Uh, stalker. Let's go into the weapon groups. And let's make sure. Yeah, that should be good for the AI. Yep, that's a good AI loadout. Laser. Let's try that for this one. Because a lot of times the AI, again, it won't fire if it'll overheat. And so uh, hopefully it'll stay at long range and fire large lasers and LRM 15s and it won't just like close and then not shoot. Uh, if only this game allowed you to pilot Aerotech fighters. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Of course, it would probably be OP. Like it was in the tabletop game. But yeah, that would be awesome. 
<laughs> that would be awesome. Especially for how stupid the the the, the bombing runs are in this. The uh, the airstrike support. It would be so nice to have a, a human player to just be like, no problem. Like, no problem, Seraph. I'm incoming. Uh, oh, you want that facility bombed? No problem. <laughs> like, it's so ridiculous that you have to go into like, you have to exit the battle tech mode. Well, you've seen it. And then you have to target it. And it likes to bounce all over the place. And half the time, especially if you're trying to aim it at uh, a dropship dropping off battle mechs, sometimes you could just miss it entirely and they're just gone. Wow, we just... We played the entire stream in 3024 because we started this in October of 2023. Wow. Wow, we're just really being inefficient with time. But that's okay. Wow. Well, we've we've spent a lot of time traveling back and forth from industrial hubs and whatnot. But yeah, we spent most of this quote unquote year just traveling. We're moving on a decommissioned base that the orchard may be stationed at. Commander, I believe my father would have hidden the mech somewhere within the walls of the base when he retired. I doubt my brother will be far behind, though. You'll need to secure that facility and fast. Let's see what we can do with this. We're at target location, and not a moment too soon. We need to keep as much of this facility preserved as possible, Commander. If we are to have any hope of our salvage teams finding Kincaid's Meg after all this is over. Oh my god, we got a lot of things to kill. Commander, fan out and secure the facility so the support forces can move in. I'll assume command of the base. Hostile forces just cross the perimeter, Commander. Thank you, Rihanna. They're heading your way. That was actually a really nice low key. That was a nice shot. <laughs> the Waco Fucker. Okay, I really. Let's worry about these fuckers first. Come on. Until he finds his father's archer. Couldn't he just buy a new mech of his own with all this cash? <laughs> right? Just to hunt down a single mech. Despite my father. As long as that mech is out there, some part of our father and our family will go in here to shit. But he has fuck, no fuck, 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 Seraph. Nice job. And it's just gonna come up and punch me because it can. He just wants it for himself. So he can destroy the last Damn. Oh, come on. Stop punching me. Oh, my God. This is, like, just insulting now. Oh. Fuck. And this is a shitty fucking environment for this. Okay. Nope. Weapon groups. I'm switching to the stalker. That's not a good, uh... Let's try this. All right. Okay, we're still a little hot. Okay, got it. Ugh, man, we are just getting jacked up here. Come on. I don't promise this thing's slow, but okay, you guys go after that. How did I miss you? Come on. Ugh. Fucking locusts. New target, Phoenix Hawk. I'm damaging the base by crashing through some of this shit. You? Okay, deal with that one now. Okay, we did a nice job there. Nope, nope, nope. Back away from it. Yep. You know what? Your leg is destroyed. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, I thought I could get behind it. 
There we go. That mech's toast. I'm gonna overheat. Good job. All right. You guys deal with that. I'll cruise over here and deal with this one little flying thing. All right, we recovered from that pretty well. <laughs> Gonna watch a movie. I'll be lurking. Well, thank you for lurk, Sal. I appreciate that. All hell breaks loose over here. Oh, okay. Got it on the second shot there. <laughs> You're in the way. Fuck it. That works. Okay, we've cut, killed a third of them so far. Where are the rest of them? Go ahead, go after the locust here. Fry your ass. Oh, shit. Target received. Engaging. It was worth it just to get that volley off. Come on, guys. Don't let that hunchback shoot at me. Oh, shit. Fuck, that thing is scary as shit. No, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that AC-20 is terrifying. Oh, thank God. <sighs> okay. Got that under control. Yeah, that freaking hunchback hit the basilisk. That sucks. Come on, target. Thank you. Good, you guys go over and deal with that. We're going to try and... Yeah, if I had a ballistic weapon that had any range. Actually, if I switch to the basilisk, I might be able to kill that from here. Errors coming in. Wow. Thank you. On. Got it. Where's the other one? Okay, you guys have that under control. I want to know where the... There you are. Freaking thing could have shot higher. Forward. Yep, you go over there and deal with that. Ugh. Shooting the base from all the way over there. Bastards. Should be able to get that. Bye. Mm. I'll see if that archer volley hits it. There we go. You guys got it. Nice job. Let's do it. Yeah, we got problems. And of course, they just dropped another lance against us. <laughs> oh, we got fucking Thunderbolt and an awesome shit. All right, yeah, deal with the Blackjack first. Hopefully this terrain. Ah. Yeah, the Thunderbolt sees me. All right, we got to... Let's try and get over here. Cool off. 
while the lance deals with that. Whoops. Come on, heat sinks. Vent this heat. At least I broke line of sight. It can't attack me anymore while I cool off. Let's see what we're doing here. Right, let's help you deal with this blackjack. Sight. Let's close in for the kill. Good. On. Here. How many do we have? We have five left counting this fucker. Come on, get down to 75. There we go. This is just heat management at this point. Looks like Got him. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. All right. Yeah, that Victor really got... Oh, shit. Not where I wanted to be while I'm trying to vent some heat more still. Maybe I should just let him shoot the base a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I don't even get a bonus till like 40. So fuck it. Yeah, let's go after this. Let's get some distance between us and that assault lance that just landed. It still has... It can take a little more, Rihanna. Let the base take that damage instead of us. Come on. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Can't get a shot. Worth it. Back off. Come on. Oof. Boy, are we fucking that mech up now. Oh, you're not getting away. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that was a fucking charger. And it's a good charger, too. Shit. But you know what? I'm... I can actually handle it. Shutting down. Damn it, I moved. I thought I could hold it while it shut down. I could not. Now it's gonna punch me in the face. Of course it is. Come on, guys. Do your fucking job. Damn it. Can't let this thing core me. Wow, you have. Wow, dude, you lost everything, Freeman. How'd you do that? How did you even do that, man? Where is this? The serum carrier. Good grief. Well, let's switch back to this. Oh, need that. Freeman managed to lose all of those guns. <laughs> but we'll deal with this SRM carrier and then this will be done. And then, yeah, I definitely have to, uh, hey, Rob, what, what are we not paying you for, right? <laughs> In the style of reading Rainbow, flying mech of the sky. I'm showing all remaining ranger units are falling back from the area. Good. My archer must have shot it down. Oh, my God. We're bringing in the dropship and the salvage crew to search the compound now, Commander. Sit tight. Yeah, as far as the Victor goes, that was a fiasco. And those Streak SRMs are irreplaceable. I cannot believe. And I switched out of that mech early. So that's all That's all Freeman. That's all Freeman. How did he let himself... Like, what the fuck, man? Of course, we didn't get a Shadowhawk out of that. Why would we, why would we get a Shadowhawk out of that? 
Oh, man. Well, so much for that. I guess we'll, I guess we'll just replace it with SRM2s that are not streak. But man, that's brutal. That's just disappointing. And yeah, we'll take a PPC and a large laser. Sure. You really fucked me up there, Freeman. My god. We, it might not even be worth repairing that, that basilisk. You know, I, I remembered the basilisk being pretty good, but it has gotten consistently roughed up in these missions. Maybe it just isn't that good of a mech. And we've tried a couple of different layouts to it, but the uh, the solid slug, it just ran out of ammo too quickly. The rifle fires too slow, and the Guardian ECM doesn't really seem to be keeping it from getting damaged enough. Maybe that mech just isn't... Maybe the mech just isn't very good. It sucks because I put a lot of money into upgrading it. I thought it was a really good mech. But I'm thinking I was just wrong on that. Thinking I was just wrong on that. Which is unfortunate. Um... But oh well. Uh, Alright, well that's quicker. So let's go back here. And uh... Shit, man. <laughs> shit! That sucks, man. That sucks. I I could swear that the Basilisk was so much better than that. But so far, it's been horrendously disappointing. Um, I mean, I could put this uh, the Lost Tech weapons back on there. But it, it runs out of ammo so fucking fast. Man, that sucks. That really does suck. That is very unfortunate. All right. Well, let's um. Wow, and it and it lost the Guardian ECM. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Nice job, Freeman. Nice job. You, you fucked us, dude. You fucked us, but good. Yeah, I don't think this is even worth repairing. We're just gonna put this in cold storage. And by doing that, we just lost all the upgrades on it. But it, it, at this point, I don't think it matters. Um, yeah, let's repair the Stalker. So far, the Stalker is still the better of uh, of the mechs that we've recovered so far. We're about to get a really good Archer, though. That will that will certainly help. But um, yeah, the 384 Warhammer. Let's let's put this one back in circulation. And, uh, all right, well, we didn't need to actually go to... We didn't even need to leave for the repairs that we needed. Yeah, I didn't I didn't even need to do that. I could have just gone straight here. Nice job, dumbass. Well, I thought I was going to repair that basilisk. And I just didn't. All right, I'm going to need a refill on soda. And maybe what... Maybe what Seraph needs to do is just get his favorite mech. I thought we could make do with some of these, but if we go into Steiner space, a lot of times you could buy a Highlander. And there are some decent ones out there. And maybe that's just what the doctor ordered. I didn't want to skip right to that because I thought we would have a beast, a bunch of decent mechs along the way. But I've been remarkably disappointed with a lot of these. They just, uh... The rifle, it still doesn't want to give us the tier 2. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Oh, I forgot to check the mech... Ah, oh, shit. All right. Well, I, I did forget. That was one of the reasons I wanted to see if there would be a Shadowhawk. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, but we're ready to go here. All right, so... Let's let's finish this mission. And this one's gonna be a doozy. Oh boy, is this one gonna be a doozy. Um we'll get a hero archer out of the deal. And Yeah, this one oh god. Oh yeah, this one sucks. This mission sucks. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a beating here. Okay, but that's okay. I, I at least remember this one. <laughs> it's gonna be a fiasco. But knowing that ahead of time helps out a little bit. Give me one second chat. Let me get myself a new soda and I will be right back and then we'll come up and watch Seraph get his ass kicked. Stay tuned. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm still laughing at that, Rob. What are we not? What are we not paying you for? <laughs> uh, so funny you mention that. Um, I actually do pay my pilots. They cost money. Every month we pay them a salary. Every month. He's usually a pretty good pilot. Usually. He's actually usually one of the better pilots. But he has certainly not availed himself well on this particular stream. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll just take the damage. Pay out. We'll make two million sea bills. And uh, there'll be there'll be a lot of salvage. So let's go. Let's try and go mostly salvage here. I mean, as long as I'm no, as long as I'm above twenty million uh, sea bills, I think I'm I'm generally a healthy company. Yeah, we'll put you in the better armored warhammer and hope you do better. And it just is what it is. Uh, yeah, we'll handle this for now. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, you're still injured. Let's go with, um, go with Tatum. Of our mech pilots, you're the better one. But yeah, here are the wages, actually. It even shows how much we're, they're getting paid. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll go with Captain Tatum here. Okay, here's this fun. <laughs> oh, boy. To get here, An inbound salvo. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed, Dark Star. Somewhere in that city is King Kaid's mech. We will have to secure and search the area if we are to claim it. But the Wakehall Rangers have already dug into a position in a forward operating base to the south of our objective and could move to intercept if they see us moving on the city. A preemptive strike against their base may significantly thin their numbers, but it might also allow Bowen to lay claim to his father's mech before we reach him. I'll leave it up to you to determine the best course of action. Hmm. That doesn't... You know, I was paying attention to that, but I wasn't immediately super clear on that. So, damn it. All right. Hi, cat. Hello, honey. All right, so we could go. They're already established to the north. What's going on here? Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. Okay. Let me pause that real quick. Hello, Cleo. She heard me stirring. Hello, honey. What you doing? Yeah, you good girl. What you doing? What you doing, cat? You know, I was just up and had things paused. That would have been a good time to come over and say hi. Can you lay down? Can I lay down and get a pet? Hmm? Can you just keep me company? You wanna hop up on the table? What you wanna do? Hello, cat. Yeah, I know. I love you too. Sure, rub your face against the computer panel. That works. That's why I have that there. You could rub up against that all you want. <laughs> yep, no problem there, cat. Can't move my chair because otherwise I might run over her tail. Um, all right. For lack of a better word, let's let's head up to the northwest and let's let's bail the people out here. I think that was a case of um, if we go to the the southwest first, the numbers might be less. But if we go over here, might be maybe we'll have help to take the. Uh, the southwest. I didn't really get a better gauge of that. And I was listening to her, but nah, I, I, I guess I just didn't really understand. Shit. <laughs> Let's hope this is the right decision. <laughs> what the, the fuck? Is somewhere in this city, but before we can go looking for it, we'll need to secure the area from the Wakehall Rangers. Okay. They'll want to try dispatching forces from the south to intercept us. 
I'm reading a number of Ranger forces moving on the city. We must be getting close, Commander. All right, well, let's try and capture it. Oh, here they are. Yeah, it's out of range. Did a shit ton of damage to them. <laughs> Bastards. Oh, we got a drop ship. Fuck. Ugh. Fucking assholes. Shit. Good. Well, at least we're starting to capture. Damn it. That's a Warhammer. Target. Yeah. target that. That's the thing that could hurt us. Good. Worth it to destroy a mech. They got here just in time to fuck us with the capture. God damn it. Get out of the way. Ugh. Fine. Mm -hmm. These guys are doing way too much damage to us. Ah. Can't hit that thing from here. Come on. Give me the angle. Give me the angle. Got it. Deal with the last of these stragglers first. Hey, I got an idea. How about you get in my way some more? Come on, cool off, cool off, cool off. There we go. We got this guy. This fucking stupid ass cicada. Dodge that thing. Brrr. I know you little purr monster. Got you. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Oh, hey, Tatum. Thanks for uh, letting that Warhammer get completely trashed. It's cool, bro. Kill this asshole. I didn't realize this fucker was still here. Let's deal with this again. Alright, you're going that way. I'm gonna go this way. There are only so many places that this fucker can hide. Unless you already got him. You know, it looks like you may have already got him. Okay, looks like you already got him. Good. Okay, well, let's head over this way and let's deal with this shit. So I guess we got three VTOLs to help us. That's not very helpful. <laughs> Rest of song, ordinance goes everywhere. Friends are foe, the cores are 
will blow an infant salvo. I could kill anything, Dragon's like. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Darkstar, you've uh you've got the handle on it here. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, I remember this being just a total shit show. And this is part this is the part where it actually gets worse. This is where it gets worse. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should have just gone to the southwest. And try to deal with less of them. So I don't think these guys really helped me out all that much. Yeah, I can't go that way. I thought I could based on the map, but I could not. So we go this way. Yay, futuristic city! I got completely fucked up by a bunch of raiders. Essentially. The dude's butt hurt because his father wouldn't give him a battle mech. Okay. Ah, this is where... This is where the mech will actually show up. Guessing, uh... In a second, these guys are going to come down through here? Is that how this is going to go? Man, I feel like all this city does is separate my uh, unit. Right, let's let's stop and let them regroup. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's interesting. They're going to make me go in here and then double back. Is that what's going on? This is bizarre. Brrr. Oh, my little purr monster. You're such a good girl. Maybe I was supposed to double back first and then come through here. Did I, like, completely screw up the uh, game's... Uh... This would have been a good match for the victor, actually. Is it close quarters? But yeah, I don't have the street guest rooms to replace it. So yeah, that mech is just fucked for now. I'm just going to have to put it on ice. Maybe I'll bring it back out later. Ah, good. And there are those guys. All right. So let's let let's let them pinch her. Pincer. Assuming the friendlies are going to come in. Oh, my God. Those friendlies are not coming. Are those friendlies seriously just going to hang out over there? Okay, here they come. Thank God. I was worried about that for a second. All right, let's just hang out here under cover, and we'll let them show up. Uh, all right, fine. I guess we'll do this. Yep, we just drew their fire. Maybe I should have let them go up that way a little bit. Let's let you pull off for a second. I think that's a turret. Ow. Stupid tank. Come on, tank. There we go. Got it that time. Really? Already? Oh, that sucks. At least we could deal with this Thunderbolt first. Okay, now let's see what we got. Let's try and run behind all these allied units. Disperse them a little bit. Not great. Oof. All right. Well. 
Ah, I missed the shot. I had its cockpit right in my sights. There we go. Try that again. Oh, how did I not get the head? Got it that time. Doing my best here. Okay, those were that was actually some decent shooting. Yeah, I <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that's one of the thing. When as soon as I see a cataphract, I could usually get a good headshot on him pretty easily. That damn cockpit is enormous. And it's slow, so it just begs to be shot. Got it. Oh, you're still not dead? Wow. How are you not dead? Yes, it is, Tatum. Nice shot. Can't blame that. Come on. Come on, guys. Out of the way. It's sad that I have to tell it to target it, even though it was right behind them all. There you go. Fucking wasted. Alright, now we gotta go back in here. Doesn't appear to be here, Commander. They haven't found it. Kate has spoken with the militia commander and has received access codes for a hidden storage facility at the Mont Nav Point. Man, that sucks. They make us go back this way. I just walked past it. I wasn't crazy. <laughs> hey guys, come on. There's still another allied light mech that can come out here. Come on, buddies. Come on. Yeah, my lance has gotten pretty, uh, pretty eviscerated. I'm sort of okay, but not great. Tatum definitely got messed up in that Warhammer. But yeah, I mean, typical war... Come on, guys. Are you coming to help or not? And unfortunately, I can't command them. So I'm just kind of like hoping that they show up. I guess they're not going to come. I guess they're stuck over here. Well, that really sucks. Hmm. 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 Right, I just pet my cat and then I rub my eyes. Nice job, sir. Mm. I'm a moron. Ooh, ow. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I guess we're on our own here. But at least we had their help to take out the forward operating base. Oh, that sucks. They really weren't that much help. I mean, it was nice that they threw a couple extra mechs at us, but I didn't appreciate that uh, they didn't really eliminate Bowers and Arrow Forces. All right, so you know what? Let's... There it is. Back up. Maybe we can lure them up here. Down. Oh. There we go. We are really fucking up that Jaeger mech. There we go. Fortunately, it still hit us with LRMs. Oh, we got one of our uh, allied units to come up here. Hey, nice of you to join the fucking fight, piece of shit. Yeah, I'm not going to hit it by the time... Ah, fuck. Damn it. That locust managed to evade all of it. Guys, shoot the fucking thing. I shouldn't have to tell you this. <laughs> what are you doing? Why is the AI so bad in this game? 
Like, it's almost hilariously bad. Oh, and that friendly unit ran away. Like, it actually came down here to, like, help out and then immediately retreated. Ugh. All right. Well, at least we were able to deal with a few at long range. Maybe if we shoot over there and we head back, they'll come back. No? All right. Well, let's head out this way. At least over here we'll have some room to maneuver. What I don't want to do is go right into the city proper and not be able to maneuver at all and just be just shit out of luck. Yeah, I may not have a choice in the matter. Yeah, it's all mountainous fuck. All right, well, well, gang, I guess we're doing this. What's up, cat? Hi, cat. Oh, kissy, kissy. I know I love you too. Hello? Hello. I know I love you too. I know. You're my good girl. Hello. Here's where this archer is supposed to. Ow! No! Don't fight me! Ow, that hurts! <laughs> she doesn't actually, like, viciously bite. She nips, but I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so sorry about that, everybody. Hi, I love you too. I know. You're a good girl. Except when you do that shit. Oh, what's here? Yeah, get on that side of the building. Let's interrupt it. Eh, so much for that. Art. Awesome, you're in the way, buddy. You are so in the way right now. Damn it, I can't get a shot. Warhammer, now you're in the way. God damn it, because you won't get out of the fucking way. All right. Well, that's all right. It lost its other arm, but we got our archer. That's That was the important part. <laughs> Jeez. There she is. Oh, no. We have one more left. Fuck. All right, let's uh, let's withdraw this way, and let's try and fire at it from a longer range. Damn it! Shit! Well, this is not good. I was, but I was trying to avoid. I can't see. Ah! Oh, this sucks so much. Damn it! I was going for that headshot. Shit! I hate this so much. We had to fight all this. Come on! Pull off! I'm running up against something. Oh my god. Can't maneuver. And I'm slow as shit. Come on, get the that is a headshot. Thank you. Hey guys, why are you running? Shoot that thing. Go, yep, that's right. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, pull off. There it is. That mech is going 
Nice. Oof. It's finished. Bowen has been taken out. Thankfully, those headshots really helped things out. Oh my god. Thank you, Darkstar, because yeah, that that was a godsend. We all survived. Granted, we got fucked up, but we did survive. That was like two... We had like four headshots in that match. Can you imagine how fucked up we would have gotten if we hadn't uh, done this? Actually, I think we legged another me mech in this thing, too. Ooh. But all things considered, yeah, not, not bad considering what we had to run up against. So yeah, that last lance was a uh, heavy lance. So that last lance alone that dropped after we had all of that fighting was about the same tonnage as we were. <laughs> So just just for comparison, yeah, that was uh, that was bonkers. I think I'm just gonna take the Wolverine. Yeah, we're just gonna take this Wolverine, and uh, yeah, we'll take uh, we'll take Nelrim. Okay. Yeah, we racked up a lot of damages there. Oh my God, this Warhammer. That might be it for that Warhammer actually. But all right, well we got we got Agincourt. This is... <laughs> yeah, that's what Bowen said at the end of it. That fucking punk. He thought he'd, uh... He thought he had us, but no, he didn't. Anyway, sad to see him how this story ended. We were somewhat close when I was young, but our family's fall from grace led him down a dark path, much like my father after he was discharged from the Free World's Guards. But unlike my father, Bowen never found someone like Nikolai Mason to give him a second chance at life. Uh, all he found was more business, bitterness and resentment eating away at him like a cancer. I wish he found someone that gave him the will to move on in his life like your father gave mine. Perhaps then we could have had a chance to reminisce on the good things that we miss about him rather than the bad. I I should let you go. Take good care of Adincourt for my father, Commander. We'll be watching. So yeah, Adincourt is an awesome mech. <laughs> it, it really is. Um, So this wonderful guy... It's got, it also has some streak SRMs, which helps out for short range. Uh, <laughs> it has, it packs a punch, man. This, this mech, this mech can waste shit. And the computer is actually still pretty decent at it. But I may end up, this might be a case where I may end up wanting to switch to this mech. Because it'll be a little faster. Speed 64. Well, no, it's the same speed as the... Uh, well, no, yeah, it is It is faster than a Stalker. So it might actually be worth it to switch to the Archer just to try it. And, uh, yeah, we'll, I think we might retire this uh, Warhammer here. This thing, that's not even worth repairing. There's very little of it left. Yeah. All right, we're going to retire that Warhammer. <laughs> we're going to retire that one. This we picked up. This side actually might be worth repairing. I don't think so. We'll put that in cold storage. I mean, we could sell it, too, if we really wanted some extra money. All right, so let's put the stalker over there for now. We'll put this archer over here, and I will use this archer for a while. Just to see if it's worth using this as my mech for now, and we'll let the computer continue to use this one. Maybe, just maybe. Well, let's see. Black Mark. I don't think we have a heavy rifle. No, no, of course not. Antina. Kill two Black Knights. That's not a good one. So this is actually pretty nice. Ooh. That's not bad because we get a ton of locusts. So let's take a look at our... Uh, take a look at our objective logs. Do we have any that's... We're moving along on that. Yeah, I'd rather have the large pulse laser. Although we do see a shit ton of locusts. Like two. Yeah, all right, we'll abandon this one. And we will go with the mech hunter kill 10 locust mechs because boy, do we encounter a lot of those. I don't know if we'll use that heavy rifle, but we do encounter a shit ton of them. Okay. So we've got this down here. We've got destabilization, the enemy of my enemy. Right? And we also have 
Defend the enhanced. Ooh, that doesn't look like it's going to be fun. The false flag. I think I know which one that is. It's not bad. Forceful negotiations and shipping disruption. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a couple up here that we could do. Um, we probably should just do the enemy of my enemy over here. Hey, blowing up Bowen. <laughs> Yeah, we probably should just do this one. Assuming I don't just come up here. No, I'm not doing anything that hard yet. Shadow coup, yeah, not, not messing around with that. But if we go up here, that's not all that far away. And maybe we can get a decent mech. Because sometimes I could buy a Highlander up here. And boy, that would be a real godsend, I think. Plus, our campaign mission is over here. And I don't like going too far without doing anything with the campaign. Lock and load. Plus, we could do some of these as we backtrack. So, yeah, let's go up here. Let's go up here and we'll figure out what we're doing. Who knows? Maybe we could buy a better mech, a uh, better mech pilot. You're just going to sleep down there, huh, cat? <laughs> I love cat. Good night, cat. Huh? What do we got? Those in need. All right. Lyran rebels. Yep. You may call us the independent people of Sky. We represent a number of units under the employ of House Steiner, currently assigned to the front line against House Kirita. Oh, boy. So, yeah. Oh, interesting. Find and destroy the Arcturan Guards Lance. Uh, oh, so this is a this is a new one. All right. So ah, this would give us the Hatchet Man. All right. So in 3023, House Steiner shocked the entire Innisfere with the creation of a new mech design in generations, the Hatchet Man. The Archon said that this new mech would help bolster. <laughs> you may call us the knights who say me. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and I love a good Monty Python reference. And so uh, we've learned that the Archon and Defiance Industries have delivered an entire company of new Hatchetman mechs to the 19th Arcturan Guards, a formerly prestigious unit before they incurred major losses at the hands of House Curita decades ago. While this may sound like a legitimate reason to refit the unit uh, with new mechs, I assure you, it is not. In the decades since their collapse, the 19th has become a dumping ground for the spoiled sons and daughters of the Commonwealth's wealthiest families entering the LCAF riding high on the coattails of the 19th storied past to further elevate their own social status, while turning the unit itself into their own state-sponsored frat house. As the first brand new mech designed in over a century, the Hatchet Man has become a hot commodity that the Archon is willing to throw these petulant brags in order to appease their wealthy industrialist parents, rather than supporting those of us on the front lines who are in desperate need of new equipment to fight our actual enemies. I wish we had a better way of doing this, but we are left with no more options. We want your unit to disable as many of these Hatchet Men as possible, so that we may take possession of them. We can't overly move against our own countrymen, but we are in desperate need of those mechs to defend ourselves from Kyrian aggression. So we're seeking your aid in capturing and acquiring these hatchetmen and putting them in the hands of the people that truly need them. Yeah, we'll accept that. But you're gonna send me all the way up here for it? No, I'm not going all that way. Nope, we are not going all that way. Just yet. Not going there. Wait, can I not? We buy stuff. Assault Battle Axe. We already do have an Assault Katana. We did buy that. No, I need that stuff here. Can I mark it? No, I can't buy it. that shit. Okay, fair enough. Let's I know take your story, and I'm ready to be of assistance, Commander. Hmm. Let's do this, Commander. Drinks are on me when we get back. I know your story, and I'm ready to be of assistance, Commander. That would already be one of my better pilots. Yeah, they could pilot. I know your story, and I'm ready to be of assistance, Commander. Yeah, she could replace uh, Juarez. Yeah, we'll do that. Better Exploration of fortune has brought us to meet. Glad to be on board, sir. We can dismiss you. 
I'm almost tempted to dismiss Captain Shenzing. Unfortunately, my, my cat continues her quest to play with wires. Don't don't play with that, honey. Don't don't play with that. Right. I would give you tons of pets. You know this. It looks at it like a Chris like one of those Christmas ornaments. <laughs> State sponsored frat house sounds like a good band name. <laughs> Do right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know why that's so appealing to her all of a sudden. That's un that's unfortunate. And I know it's it, she's interrupted us a lot in the last week. She is adorable, but I I don't know why I don't know why that seems so appealing. I'm not sure I'm not sure why. Oh, and you're Found the culprit. My Velcro table management thing. For some reason, she thought this was a toy. Well, I guess it is because I removed it right after that and started leaving the cables alone. Great, great. Now I have a rat. Now I really have a rat's nest back there. How am I going to secure my cables now? <laughs> you mean it's not? <laughs> uh. All right, but at least now I don't have to worry about her. And unfortunately, she didn't actually damage uh, the plastic of the wire. That was that was the main thing I was worried about. So I don't want her shocking herself or, or getting hurt. I don't really care. Well, I mean, I care. I don't want her to break my things, but. Yeah, when I thought she got through it, when, she, when I saw her get stuck, I was like, oh, good. Please tell me that paw isn't getting shocked. Ugh. <sighs> All right, I, that I could deal with. <laughs> you could probably even hear her flundering around. Yeah, that's your toy now. Your toy. Oh my chat, what am I gonna do with this cat? <laughs> what am I gonna do with this cat? Yeah, that's yours now. Okay, you're a happy cat now. Yeah, that really. I suppose that's not. I mean, it's a current yeah, it's not current. So, I guess you In my mind, I'm trying to wonder is there any way she could potentially swallow or anything? But no, it's too big for that. Okay. Yep, no, it's. I guess we're fine. I guess we're fine. Uh. Yeah, I don't need to keep this many pilots. So, yeah, I'm going to dismiss Captain Shenzing. I, it's unfortunate because 
it's kind of cool that you get a pilot for free, but he just, he's, the skill level of this pilot is just so low that it's not worth keeping him. So yeah, unfortunately, we, we kind of left him behind. Uh, and I'm thinking same with Tatum here. Yeah, we don't need Tatum now either. All right. Everybody else at least is... <laughs> <laughs> God damn. All the toys I buy for this cat, I get her cat trees and toys and wands. And what does she like playing with? Cardboard boxes, an old shoestring, and my cable management tie, apparently. So an uncomfortable non-lethal zap does wonders for teaching lessons just as fucking Zubin, right? <laughs> oh man, does that bring back memories? I wish I could have seen, um, I, I won't say the teacher's name, but I wish I could have seen his face when he just says, you know, no, don't tell me <laughs> after the lights flicker and everything else. That must have been hilarious. Oh my God. All right. So still no, okay. So none of that. That's not here. All right. But we dealt, we did improve our situation there. All right. So let's, let's repair you. Let's repair you. Let's repair you. Fine. Um, let's upgrade you. You mostly do. We could do tighter missile clusters. Uh, let's do improved range. We like that. Let's do refined armor. We like our mechs being survivable. Sensor range, target lock retention. Responsive movement. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll do an anchor. Sure. We got the money for it. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. It's fine. Because we're going to we're gonna fuck around in here for a little bit. I mean, we could always sell some of these mechs if we really wanted to. Take a look at our star. There's no... Oh, there's... There's a cantina here. So if there's a better cantina, we could do that. Yeah, unfortunately... Unfortunately, the Cantina missions, for some reason, it really does seem like when the game gives you a goal that requires a certain piece of equipment or mech that had been dropping a lot up until that point, you get the Cantina mission for it, and all of a sudden, it's, oh, nope, we're not giving that to you. Like, are you serious right now? All right, so kill, okay, kill seven Igor units. We get a ton of those. Okay, what was our... We had an objective log. Kill 12 urban mechs. Yeah, no. We're going to abandon that. We'll take the Igor units. Because that's going to be a lot easier for the same fucking thing. Yes. Definitely. All right. ER large laser short burst and double heat sinks. Ah, uh, yes. Let's, okay, we need to abandon something first. That's fine. Objective log. So what do we have in here that we haven't done at all yet? Hmm. Collective fire. That would be nice. To, that would be nice, but I don't really use chemical lasers. Let's see. Mech market. Is there a fire starter for sale? No. Fine. Let's abandon this one. Would have been nice, but no. Cantina's kind of fucking us on that. Now we can do this. We should be able to get a PPC tier two. Yep, we already have it. Perfect. And we just got ourselves an ER large laser short burst. That works. Cool. Perfect. There. That'll work later on. Good. Good, good, good. Now then. Okay. Like two Raven mechs. I haven't even seen a Raven mech. I don't even know if this is worth picking up at all. So let's take a look at our star map. We could just wander around here. Oh, let's take a look at the mech market. Yeah, none of these. Okay. What we could do, let's just go up here really fast, really fast since it's right here. And if not, it might be worth traveling to another industrial hub. Again, just to get that better mech that isn't 
terrible. Although we've got this adding a court thing. I should just give it a try and see how it goes. No heavy rifle. Damn, it just does not want to give me the heavy rifle at all. But sure, let's go with the LRM-15. Black market, market counter measures? All right, we'll buy that. Because at least then, if we have a mech where the Guardian ECM gets damaged, it that won't be as good as the Guardian ECM, but at least that's something we could slot in there. That's good. Yeah, it's still not giving you this. All right, so now the question is, does Seraph go up here, hoping for that? Or do I just give this Agincourt a try and let's go down? Jeez, we gotta go all the way down here for enemy of my enemy. Oh, we're not all that far away from it, but by then, oh, uh, oh, I went, I went one too far. Shit. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? Let's just go here. Let's see what this hero mech is. And then we'll go and do that mission. Away we go. State-sponsored frat house. That does sound like a good band name. <laughs> Well, hopefully now Cleo will leave. Okay. Well, what's this hero archer? Well, this actually might not be a bad option. That's actually not bad. That is not bad. And in fact, you know what? We are going to purchase that. Yep. We are purchasing that. Guess what? That... The Archer T, that's going to replace our standard Archer. Perfect. All right, so now the question is, do I sell this? Do I just sell this Archer and get some money back for it? So we don't need, we don't need a billion Archers over here. Let's go to operations. Let's see, stats, battle mechs. Okay, these are assets, battle mech upkeep. The archers costing me 50,000 sea bills to maintain. So maybe I should just keep it in operation. Although 460, yeah, no, that's, it's, no, it's worth it to, uh, let's, uh, hmm. Now let's sell it. We're going to sell, we're going to sell this archer. Yeah, we'll get 3 million back. So essentially, we bought a hero archer for only 5 million sea bills. Worth it. Okay, unfortunately, now we're below our 20 million sea bill threshold. I guess the question is do I pull some of these out of mothballs to sell, like this Warhammer? <laughs> uh, it, might, it might actually be worth to sell the Warhammer. I'm just, I'm a, so afraid of a cantina mission where it decides to be like, hey, collect Warhammers to for blah, blah, blah. I, I, I so see this game doing that to me. That's why I keep two Javelins and two Panthers. Generally, I'll keep two, and then when I get a third, I'll sell the third. But you know what? I think we're all right for it. Let's, uh... That was worth it. Just out of curiosity. No, yeah, okay. Star map. We're good. All right, now we can reach. Defending, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, we'll go here. And then, yeah, we'll go here, do this bullshit, the enemy, my enemy, and then we'll go here and we'll finish off this war zone contract. Okay. Man, half a million sea bills and travel, but fuck, what, I, what can you do? But it didn't make sense to keep paying the 50,000 sea bills to maintain a mech I probably would never use again. Well, what do we got here? The enemy in my aim, right? Okay. So, while the great houses of Leo and Merrick have clashed for centuries, other enemies often force the enemy of my enemy to taunt. Safe, House Merrick's intelligence apparatus, has unearthed the plot where a clandestine Davian strike force believed to be an ad hoc detachment of the Lexington Combat Group, has infiltrated Merrick's space. They plan on invading the Capellan Confederation bit, <laughs> via the Free Worlds League border, hoping to spark a war between the two nations. Although the League has fought many wars with House Liao, 
the Confederation serves as a useful buffer between the League and the much stronger House Davian. As such, House Merrick wants to hire you to destroy the Davian strike force in secret. If the truth is revealed, House Leo may not trust the situation, and war may ensue regardless. Oh boy. Good old assassination mission. Yeah, I don't like having to go against House Davian because we're going to be doing, you know, Legend of the Kestrel Lancers, but I think this is okay. Do like high reward missions. Okay, we need we need money, and that will help. We'll take salvage too. Let's hope for the best. The nasty weather means your visibility will be limited out there. Okay, so on your sensors. Freeman, you're gonna be in the awesome. And Marsh is in the Archer. Well, Marsh will be in the Archer in a second. So we got, yep, Captain Bradford. You are going to be... No. What's going on here? Okay, sorry. Stalker. I'm taking the Agincourt. You're taking that hero, Archer. And out of what's left, you'll be in the Stalker. This should work out pretty well. Okay. We got 300 tons now of, uh, of hopefully some badass fuck you coming in. Let's still take a look at this. Let's try this. Attention. Prepare for battle like departure. Warning. Hangar doors open. Stand clear. Alright. Not a bad archer. Online. And it's going to be faster than the Stalker. That'll help. All systems phenomenal. Our primary target today is Captain Vanessa Jim, the commander in charge of a combat group disguised as Marik fighters. Sorry. Uh, weapon groups, this is important. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, medium pulse. Uh, you know what? We'll do the medium pulse lasers as the primary weapon. Medium lasers there. Wow, we got a lot of SRMs going on here. <laughs> oh, you're a good girl. Yeah, get that scratching post. Good girl. All right. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll do this. All right. So we got some streak SRM twos and SRM sixes on the same one. Should be all right. We should be able to just wreak havoc here. Should. Hello, cat. Hello. I know you had fun with my, with your little toy, huh? Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. I love you too, cat. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Okay. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Why? Be careful. She's an experienced fighter, and her troops are just as lethal. Should probably figure out how to use the Beagle Active Probe. I don't actually know how it works. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll go in this general direction and we'll see what's up. Wow, I'm liking the uh, soundtrack for this mission. This is badass. Switch into short range. Fucker. Attacking shared target. Here. Oh, it cool off a little bit. Yeah. Alright, I'm liking this mech. This is not bad. <laughs> I am liking this mech. This is not bad. Alright, now we got that at the end of a ravine. Let's not go to the ravine. Let's go north. Oh, we got a turret. 
I like the fact that the medium pulse lasers fire from a uh, higher arc. It tends to shoot over things. I don't want to use that many. I don't want to use Larn. Well, it's taking a lot of damage. This thing's about to meet me. All right, fine. <laughs> okay, good. I don't know what you guys destroyed, but I'm liking the fact that you're active. So good. For once. <laughs> Fucking Zubin. Speaking about people that like dropped off the face of the earth, right? I guess I'm actually lucky. I, I still hang out and know most of the people I went to high school with. Hi, Cat. What are you doing? This thing is pretty maneuverable. I do like that it's much more maneuverable. Oh. Now it gives me a fucking urban mech. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Although I could have called that. The second I abandoned the urban mech mission. Damn, it managed to hit me. Well, oh, nice shot though. I mostly shot just to give myself a line of sight to it. <laughs> I want to make sure I continue to have line of sight to this thing. Fuck this archer. Or fuck this uh, urban mech. We got this guy. I can close for the kill. Never mind. I was going to close for the kill, but nice job. Nice job, Marsh. I think that was Marsh. All right, I like it when my AI pilots actually start fucking working better. So a lot of it does depend on weapon groups. And sometimes they're just some, some mechs they work better in than others. I have noticed that. Like at one point I gave, uh, there's this hero mech called a Corsair. I gave the AI that thinking, oh, this will be good for it because it generally tends to handle heat pretty well. And the AI was just garbage in it. <laughs> like, okay, never mind. So sometimes it's also hard to predict. Scorpion tank. Ugh. Well, we'll have Linus. Well, we'll have high ground over it. But God only knows what else is going to be in here. Oh, you lost fucking. Okay, we got it. That's what I want to buy. Oh, shit. It hit me from here. <laughs> Didn't think it would be able to hit me from there. I was mistaken. Oh, we got... One of our targets is flying in. Deal with this. Oh my god, I still didn't... I got it. Hit it. Deal with this. Ugh. Igor units. Oh, can't hit it from there. Got it. Yep. Alright, dealt with that. Break, break, break. Confident lost. Critical structure damage. Oh shit. I did not think we would be running into a king crab. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get fucked up here. I didn't think we'd have to deal with a king crab. I can't believe they sent a king crab after us. That's such bullshit. And of course we're overheating. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh man. Damn it. I poured it. I fucking. Fuck. That sucked, man. I did not expect a fucking king crab. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Damn. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure of that. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, that sucked. So a king crab, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, is a 100 ton assault mech with two AC-20s. It's designed to just destroy mechs. Um, and the unfortunate part is that we, I didn't even know the King Crab was there until uh, until we were in its weapons range. So that was, that was just unfortunate, unfortunate, terrible fucking luck. That was bullshit. That was utter and complete bullshit. Fuck. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. That was not worth it. Man, we just got... Oh. We could have gotten a king crab out of that, though. If I... If it had given me enough salvage. If I had taken max... If I had known to take max salvage... Yeah, that's how this game goes sometimes. It's just how it goes. <sighs> that's terrible. That is terrible. Like, I feel like it'd be better if you could see the salvage afterwards and be like, okay. But I mean, I guess you, I, I guess it understand. Yeah, you know, I understand when you have to negotiate beforehand. But yeah, that would have been a case where I would have much rather negotiated if I if only I could go back in time and know to take full salvage. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We probably would have had enough because if I had gone full salvage, we would have had about 40. I would have had enough for the king crab. And yeah, that would have at least made it worth it. Would have at least made this worth it. No, that was not worth it. That was not worth it. That was... uh. That was fucking terrible. That was, that was terrible. That sucks so much. And there's gonna be more. Yes, but you know what? Um, no, we're crippled at this point. We got really fucked up from that. Oh. Up until that point, I thought the Ag the Agacourt was actually pretty good, but no, running into a king crab was was not fun. Yeah, I don't know what I could have done differently, other than knowing that there was a king crab up there. Because we didn't come through the the ravine. That would have been a death trap. They would have just focused fire on us. We couldn't have maneuvered. At least we had the opportunity to maneuver out there. It just, uh, and it, you know what? I don't even know if it damaged. Let's take a look, actually. Let's take a look at Agincourt here. Um, yeah, the rest of the mech actually wasn't all that damaged. Um, it, it probably hit my torso with two AC-20s and went right from that uh, that right torso into the center torso. It is the center torso. It's not like it even spread the damage around a lot. But yeah, so much for uh, that SRM, that Streaker SRM. Oh my goodness. I have had, <laughs> I feel like I've had the worst luck, but you know, you make your own luck. I I just, and this, this mech also got a little fucked up. But yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you run into a King Crab, man. Um, yeah, that was, that was, that was bad. That was very, that was very bad. Um, all right. We're running low on money. We are running low on money. So, uh, all right. Let's go to Exeter here. Let's go to the, let's go to Liao space. 
since there's an industrial hub right here, let's try and lick our wounds. We'll do a couple of other easy missions. We'll wake up our money. Unfortunately, that's a little bit of a grind. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe my first impression with Agincourt wasn't all that good. Because <laughs> I feel like I still should have had a better showing against that. But again, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it just, sometimes the game just be like that. Select one Centurion mech. Do I have a Centurion mech? Already? That would be nice if I already have a Centurion. I don't think I do. Let's go to the mech market. Can you buy a Centurion? No? Okay. Well, then I'm not going to bother because you're not... If I take this, you're not going to give it to me. So there's that. That that part sucks. Uh, Sion Commonality. Where is that? Is the Sion Commonality over here? Binary Systems. Sion Commonality. All right. We could do that. We could just go here. Probably should. At least then we'll get Treasure Hunter up. All right, let's do that. Goodness gracious. Is this worth trying to repair? Not at this time. But I don't want to lose the 2 million C bills of upgrades I just spent on it. That's brutal. All right, the Stalker is back to being my primary mech, slow as the fucking thing is. And Warhammer, you're back in. <laughs> I can't get rid of this Warhammer chat. I can't, I just can't. Ugh, good grief. Let's go to the equipment. It's probably still not going to give me the heavy rifle. Why would it do that? Nah, why would it give me the heavy rifle? God damn. I'm regretting not going deeper into Steiner space and just hunting for a Highlander. I do, I, I find I do really well with that mech for the most part. And I'm wondering if I maybe should have just gone up there to do it. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. Uh, sure, let's go to Castrovia instead. Let's try this. Do Intel, Warzone contract. Ugh. I don't like war zone contracts. Garrison duty, a multiple mission operation. Assassination, it doesn't tell me which one it's going to be. So you know what? Let's at least do this one. Hope it's going to be here. Also, the pilot Kia sucks. Oh, the pilot KIA sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that, that does suck. I mean... God, I didn't even notice that, actually. Who, uh... Oh, it was the new pilot I hired, I think. <laughs> or no, it was, uh... No. Pilot didn't get killed in action. Did he? Oh, no, I only have... I only have five pilots. I thought I had six. Maybe I did lose a pilot. Shit, I didn't even notice. Good catch. Good catch. I didn't even I didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. Yeah. Um yeah, losing a pilot does suck. Fortunately, I still have a pretty good set of pilots here. But yeah, no that does That is unfortunate. Come on. Heavy rifle. Damn, it still won't give me the tier 2 heavy rifle. Damn it. Medium hammer fist. Um, sure, only because it's fairly cheap. Yeah, I still have that. I'll buy the heavy rifle ammo. I still have a decent amount of this owned. We'll buy that one. Okay. All right, let's do this. Wow. Wars. Oh, it didn't give it to us. Fuck. We could still do this mission, though. Alright, let's still... Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's still do this mission. We're already here. Let's do it. Let's go max C-bill payout. Uh, man, we'll do salvage shares, too. <sighs> yeah, I know. We're we're not going with that. Uh, Bradford. Yeah, we still got our pilots. That's not too bad. Warhammer. Yep. 
you're going with that. And, uh... Mission starts in three days. Okay, that works. We'll wait the three days. Yep, perfect. Alright, let's see how this goes. Let's try and just do an easy mission here. Make some money. Get our sea bills back up. And then with the money we make from these little mini missions, we can now afford to we'll afford to essentially fund the repair on Agincourt. My god, that was bad. That's bullshit! Why did I lose fucking... God damn it. Well, now we are gonna lose it. But that I don't mind, because it went behind a hill. <laughs> Fucker. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna lose target luck on that. I can tell. Alright, good. Okay. Now let's get in here, and we'll see what's going on here. I don't think we have to defend this, so I can just walk through this wall. <laughs> Jeez. This does feel like a war zone, that's for sure. They've detected your presence, Commander. I'm seeing multiple tangos on scope, converging on your current position. Okay, let's head back out to the hills here. Definitely don't want to be fighting in there if I can help it. <sighs> Fucking king crab. And we couldn't even get the king crab. <laughs> That's the worst part of that whole thing. We couldn't even salvage the fucking king crab. <laughs> That's just such bullshit. <laughs> I think I'm okay with just hanging out here. We're at... Yep, we're at the furthest range of my LRM-15. So the second they show up there, I'll be able to fire at them. Assuming I'm not missing anything over here. Oh, they're over. Yep. Okay. Wow, wow, they're coming all over. I don't know... Okay, that guy's facing over there. Let's just deal with these two assholes. Engaging commander's target. Yeah, we're going to lose sight of it in a second. That's how it goes. Oops. Nope. 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 Uh, I didn't want to go that way. Uh, just trying to avoid that. Oh, damn it. Right after it dies. Come on. Go over here and just... Yeah, I'm trying. There it goes. Got you there, buddy. Doing better here. Okay, that was better. We still have this uh, Vindicator hiding up there unless someone showed up. Ah, we lost our uh, friend though. How did they die? Jeez, that sucks. Okay, well that we need to deal with immediately. Oh, why? You're able to target it until, uh... Come on, why can't I target you? Fine. Targeting the punch back then. Mm. Now we get to move over. 
over and strafe it while we cool off. Good. We're on your target, Commander. Weapons on tagged target. Get your attention. Let's peer you off. Good. Come on. Good. That mech is nice and lost up there. Seems to be just fine. Now that we've pulled off. Yeah, let's just go for center mass here. <sighs> Worth it. <laughs> Worth it to get that shot off. All right. Move. Good. I'm glad that mech is still stuck. What is that? Blackjack stuck. Good. With any luck whatsoever. Good. Let's try and deal with this blackjack over there. With any luck. We can target it with LRMs. And you know what? Fuck it. Fuck that blackjack for now. Don't worry about the blackjack later. Uh, we're not going to get it in time. That's bullshit that they could shoot at us from all the way over there. But if I shoot... Yep. I would have... Uh, I would have lost uh, target lock on him by the time the missiles got there. This sucks. Ooh, this one we can get though. We got you. That's enough out of you. Let's get this asshole. Aw. Oh, thought I was gonna get it. Let's deal with you. And then we'll come back for those other things. Good. We got a hunchback. Yeah, I agree. Let's get it. Let's, let's try and get a hunchback. If we can. And we have that freaking Orion that's going to be a problem. Damn it. Ah, I missed the head. Fuck. Mm, fucking hunchback. Ugh. I hate the hunchback so much. There we go. Dealt with that shithead. Come on, get out of the way! I'm seeing its head! Ugh. Oh. There we go. I think I got that headshot, though. Despite Freeman's efforts to get in the fucking way, <laughs> it's like, dude, I've got the shot. Move! <laughs> Alright, now maybe we can get this blackjack that's over here. And with any luck, if it's really stuck, we should be able to just lob LRMs on it until it, uh, until it dies. get this. Let's finally get this blackjack. Oh, it's the last one. Cool. Alright, so we, we made it through that, okay. Got a little chaotic there, but nothing too crazy. We handled that alright. That hunchback scared me, because boy, can that hunchback put a hurtin' on you with that AC-20 of that it has. Holy shit. Good. You stay there. And if you don't mind just standing there... Up. Oh, we woke it up. Fuck. Well, that was nice while it lasted. <laughs> but it was nice of it just to sit over there. There we go. Keep putting PPCs into that, buddy. There we go. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. Actually, we... Yeah, we've sort of done okay. We could just hang out over here and see what else we could try and earn some extra money here. 
could do that. Oh, well, it depends on what lands. It totally depends on what lands here. <laughs> Fire that fast enough. Okay, good. We got a lot extra money. Got a champion, a catapult. Nah. Alright. Yeah, I can't hit it from here. Oh, god damn it. Why'd I lose target lock on it? It was close enough. Wait, why am I... Why am I losing target lock? That's really annoying. Shit. Yeah, I'm thinking we should just get the hell out of here while we can. Get some speed here. Because, yeah, being a sitting duck doesn't help. Shoot this thing. Let's run parallel to it. Give it a harder target. Nice job, Freeman. Just shoot the ground by, don't you? There we go. All right. Now we'll get out. Earned a little extra money. Actually, let's just make sure there aren't any more VTOLs. It'd be nice if they send in VTOLs and not a dropship. If it's VTOLs, I don't see anything. Anything else? Come on. else wants to show up all right fine i guess we'll just evacuate since nothing else is here My scope is oh there we go more targets converging on your position commander stay frosty we'll take one shot just in case the target lock sticks ah it didn't but we know where it's coming let's see if we can kill it at long range before that javelin even gets close to us how far away am from the evac zone am i cool i'm right here Ooh, there we go Damn it. Yeah. Nice shot. Let's target received. Come on. Thank you. Alright, we made a little extra money. Nope. Now we're getting the fuck out of here. That trebuchet can do some damage. Fuck it. Let's get out. Let's get you out of there, Commander. Stand by. <laughs> One last shot before we leave. Which really doesn't... I mean, we're, we're actually not as good as our reputation is. But at least we made some fucking money. Aw, oh, we were just shy of actually getting that hunchback. Well, that's alright. We'll get this. We'll do that. And we'll pick up an extra... No. Pick up another medium tier one medium laser. Yep. Perfect. Alright. Collect some money. Okay. Good. Good, good. We needed... We needed that. <laughs> we needed that. All right. Unfortunately, we didn't get what we actually came here for. So we're going to have to still do a little bit of repair. Nothing that crazy. Uh, all right. New Weston. 
objective raid, assassination, demolition contract, defense contract, or these. Yeah, let's let's go to Harlock. Because these actually don't look too bad. Yeah, either one of these should be okay. Hopefully what we're looking for is here. Do another, hopefully get another cantina objective. Recover our battle chest. We're sort of recovering from those rough missions. Oof. Now we got another view transmission, huh? Let's see, the conspirators, huh? Let's see, I'm Sylvan Vaughn, a representative with Eyes on Democracy. We're an independent watchdog group that monitors local level democratic elections within the Federated Suns. This is a fun one. Uh, we've received dire intel that the leading candidate in a regional election for a trade federation presidency position, one Casper Owens, has been targeted in an assassination plot by the Lord of the Capellan March, Duke Hasek Davian. Our sources say that candidate Owens and Duke Hasek Davian have had a number of public spats, with Casper Owens openly denouncing Duke Hasek Davian's rule over the Capellan March. It appears as if the Duke wishes to see candidate Owens dead so that his puppet candidate may secure the election. Uh, again, Game of Thrones shit going on all over the place. Eyes on democracy cannot allow for this to happen. While the Federated Sons' interstellar politics are often dominated by hereditary rulers that serve as the beck and call to their house lords, how various systems are administered is often left to the discretion of the Duke or Duchess of each system. Because of this, a large number of system-level administrative positions in the Federation are often filled through elected representatives from the local populace. With this Trade Federation presidency serving as a sensitive position that administers jump shipping routes, commercial uh, commercial dropship uh, cargo processing, and logistical distribution of supplies for multiple systems around the Capellan March, eyes on democracy cannot allow for such a sensitive public position to erode into a puppet of our regional March Lord. As it is unlikely that Duke Hasek Davian would allow for that power to return to the people once he secures it, we would like to contract your mercenary outfit to reinforce our security detail around Casper Owens and assist us in protecting the integrity of this regional election. While we have a small contingent of battle mech forces on hand, we cannot hope to stand against the might that Duke Hasek Davian can bring if uh, this intelligence ends up being true. The voices of the free people of the Federated Sons need your expertise, Commander. Will you help us? Yes, we will, but not right now. Let's do, ah, uh, perfect. Pillage and burn. Good deal. Okay. Simple and straightforward. Get in, destroy all the designated targets, and grab anything of value that you come across. Perfect. We will do that. We will, in fact, do that. Just give me two million sea bills, and we'll take whatever salvage. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area starts in four days. Visibility and Works. have an effect on your sensors. Let's do it. Oh, man. Am I getting shot at already? I'm getting shot at already. <laughs> it's bullshit. I got- I literally took damage before the mission even started. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes that happens. Nothing like being dropped and getting shot right as you exit the dropship. Quite literally took damage before I could even get a chance to go. <laughs> You're right, Nade? Oh my god. Alright, well at least this stalker doesn't suck. Hmm. Be advised, Commander. One of the items of interest we're after may be found in this location. Try searching in the spot designated on your map. I will certainly do that, Rihanna. <laughs> that is an amazing emoji. <laughs> that is epic. Man, this has trap written all over it. What the fuck is... Or one of my lance mates is a little lost. <laughs> I think the one in the archer. Granted... hear it or do I just hear this sandstorm I feel like I hear a VTOL 
but I don't see it. Man, that worries me. Freaks me out when I can hear it, but I can't see it. I know it's around here somewhere. Yep. Well, alright, turret. Not worried about a turret. Hmm. Man, this terrain is complete shit. <laughs> this, this sucks. At least we're getting out of it over here. But we might do the Rasper Owens one. We will get a decent mech out of that. It's not great, but it's it's cool. It's interesting. In the hands of a human-controlled player, I think it would be really good. Target destroyed. But in the hands of the AI, it won't stay far enough away. It must be nearby. But it's a good, real long-ranged fire support mech. It might still be worth getting just for oh, price. Good, you got it. Thanks. Tango down. Let's go deal with this. Fucker. Detecting targeted battle mech in the area. The more ballistics, the merrier. Yeah, we wasted that mech. Oh, it, it's running for cover. That's impressive, actually. That actually worked out for me because it gave me a second to cool off. A better angle. Bad. Enemy destroyed. Good job. All right. Let's find out what target we have to destroy in here. All right. The lance is doing. The AI seems to be doing a little better. Thankfully. About time. So I finally have, think I've given them mechs that aren't terrible to work with. Um, what am I supposed to be destroying in here? Damn it. Destroyed. Oh, we got it. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Commander to all units. Unidentified battle max on the field. Take them out. New target, hunchback. Fuck. Damn it, I was hoping to take out that frickin' wall so I'd have a better shot at this thing. Engaging commander's target. Fuck. I don't want to go anywhere near that AC-20. Damn it. Hey, please tell me we got it. Thank you. Ugh, getting lit up here. Come on. Good, it looks like it's... Yeah, it doesn't have its AT-20 anymore. It's no longer scary. I'll deal with the VTOL. That was actually more, da uh, more dangerous to us at that point. You. Where are these assholes? Probably tanks. You guys deal with that. Nope, nope. Get out of the way. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I managed to get it. I thought he was going to get away for sure. Good. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you're not getting away, fucker. You can eat a factory of dicks. That hunchback scared the shit out of me, though. Yeah, I had a feeling. Be a fucking turret over there. <laughs> All right, squad. Next objective. Target acquired. Can I hit you? Ah. Target destroyed. Nice. Target destroyed. Let's not get complacent. Tanks and bullshit can come out of any freaking corner here. Always got to be careful of ambushes. Tango smoked. Speaking of which, right when I check the map, one shows up. So here's what worries me. I don't know how I can... Oh, we got a patrol here. Let's go deal with this patrol. I'm trying to figure out how to go to one location without triggering the, the defenses of the other. And I'm thinking we'll just try to stay over, uh, uh, give me one second, Nate, while I figure out this patrol here. Uh, we had to go, there's three mechs and like eight tanks. My opening salvo is still memorable. So I think I need you to remind me, actually. Can you guys get that with the PPCs? All right, fine, I have to fire. But that probably means there's more over here. Wow. All right. I think we took care of that patrol. Anything else? Nobody else? Just a patrol on our six. Uh, it was the Ghost Bear campaign. I uh, alpha striked a tank and destroyed it in the building behind it, which fell and destroyed another tank. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. That's awesome. <laughs> we had a lot. Of, I mean, there was so much zany shit that happened in the bat in that tabletop battle tech game and so much of it. Awesome. <laughs> it is amazing how many good stories can come out of the randomness of the fickleness of the dice. No turrets coming out of that? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> we hadn't fought tanks before, so we were concerned with how tough they were. It was an instant morale boost. We wiped the floor with everything. Low damage sustained. Oh, all right, let's deal with this. Oh, that's going to hide behind there in a second. Yeah, we just aggroed everything. Fuck. Let's head back this way, and let's just fight... What showed up? What's showing up? Let's just deal with this shit. Nobody else. All right, let's let's go towards this then, and we'll deal with it. We'll just deal with it. Yeah, now it's gonna give send me a fu billion fucking urban mechs. Oops. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Yeah, I figured. Wow, we destroyed that fast. Thank goodness. Yeah, those urban mechs are trash cans, but boy, they could be very dangerous trash cans, especially in a map and terrain like this where you don't even see them and all of a sudden they're in weapons range you know you just turn a corner i really underutilized urban mechs in my campaign when i ran the tabletop of it yeah those 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 little bastards they could be scary i also underutilized hunchbacks which 
I don't think I would have overused them because of how much damage they could do to you. But yeah, uh, holy crap. <laughs> the fucking hunchback, man. Oof. Yeah, I had a feeling. I tried shooting over the rock. I knew that was going to be a tricky shot, but still. All right, what do we got over here? What fresh bullshit do we have? I think we'll ride this wall. I don't see anything in here. Good. Just let's just hug this wall for now. Up. Oh, what do we got? We got the tank. Or VTOL. I don't want to be swarmed. Tank. Was a tank. <laughs> See, missions like this, even though there's sort of like cakewalks, this is fun. I'm glad I do mix it up a little bit. Even though it was kind of like, uh, oh, we got a patrol here. It's just going to be a couple of VTOLs and a tank, probably. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I mixed this up a little bit. Yeah, all right, fine. Let's just do this really fast. That. Oh, here they come. All target buildings have been destroyed, Commander. Good job. I didn't think I'd uh, take it out that quickly. Oh, we got a drop ship. Yeah. Alright, now we gotta worry about what the fuck just landed on us. Let's deal with it, whatever it is. Ah. Oh, I still managed to get it. That's amazing. Overheating. Oh, fuck, and it's a fire starter. This way, and yeah, we'll deal with the fire starter first. Come on, there it is. That was a headshot. I just didn't kill it. But we got this. Come on, come on, Seraph, you can do this. Headshot. <laughs> All right, now to evac. Boom, 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 Why, thank you, Rob. <laughs> Thankfully, the lance, my lance mates actually did a decent job there by uh, getting its attention. So I was able to just kind of sit still and for once just kind of really line up my shot without moving all over the place. And I knew I had hit it once before. I just didn't do enough damage to it that first time. So I'm like, all right, it's not shooting at me. So it's pretty neat. All right, we continue to recover from our uh, Seabill hits that we took from getting all that damage. And we got a factory, uh, yeah, factory automation systems. Cash here. Ooh, we can actually pick up a, uh, you know what? Let's pick up this urban mech. I don't think I have one of those. Yeah, we'll grab a tier three medium laser. Good, 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 good. Good. Oh, and Captain Marsh leveled up. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, we killed seven. Aha. Perfect. So now we'll get a large pulse laser. That's awesome. Let's go over here. See on commonality. Hell yeah. Give us money. Perfect. All right. This is all extremely, extremely helpful. Okay. Ah, the Tarian Concordat. <laughs> oh, but they'll give us a uh, Marauder for the trouble. Okay. Living out in the Tarian Concordat, 
We've learned to sleep with one eye open. The threat of a Davian invasion is always looming overhead, and we've spotted a potential shark in the waters. The planet of uh, Certain was recently raided by what appeared to be a Davian scouting party coming from the Montour system. Protector Calderon sees this as a clear sign that Hans Davian has already begun infiltrating our nation in an attempt to cordon the entire Concordat. The Protector wants to ready the entire nation for war and, reinit and initiate a preemptive counter-invasion, but high-ranking war offici uh, officials in the Tarian Defense Force want to handle this incident in a more level-headed way. <laughs> We would like you to uh, we would like to enlist your services to investigate this raiding party and destroy those responsible for the raid on certain. Your first mission is to confirm that these raiders truly were affiliated with the Federated Sons. We want you to travel out to Mon out to the Montour system and provoke the local defenders into attacking you. We will monitor their unit compositions and see if they have any marks that would affiliate them with the raiders that attacked certain. Provided that you help us track down these responsible for the certain raids, we are prepared to offer you a heavy mech as payment. For the group's utter destruction. Good luck. We're counting on you. Yes. Why, thank you. I will probably do that. So let's repair you. You didn't even get damaged. That's amazing. Okay. So that mission is where? Oh, God. It's all the way over here. Oh, I don't know if I want to go all the way that way for a marauder. Jesus. That is really out in the fucking boonies. Uh, I don't know about that chat. That's pretty fucking far. That is, that's going to be a third of a fucking year. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, I do not think so. I don't think so. Granted, a marauder is nice. Granted, a marauder is pretty fucking nice. Can't, can't fault that. Um, a marauder actually would be nice. Because that would give me a better option than the Warhammer for a pilot, but yeah, it's just so fucking far out there. I mean, I suppose we could do a couple of missions on our way, but Jesus, the sheer amount of time it would take to go from here all the way the fuck over here. I mean, that's, that is a hike. It's a cool mission. I wish I'd gotten it earlier. No, I don't think so. I think what we are going to do now that we've gotten a little, our nest egg a, a little bit better, let's go up to the cantina. Let's see if we got any better cantina options. We're going to repair Agincourt to the best of our ability. It sucks that we're out the streak SRMs, but it is what it is. Like that part does really suck, but what can you do? But I would like to, uh, considering what we invested in this fucking thing, it would be nice if it were possible. Oh, and we lost a double heat sink out of out all, all that. Oh, we lost two double heat sinks. Jesus Christ. That is terrible. All right. Um, oh, and a medium pulse laser. That's, that's super awesome. Yeah, because we got cord. Good grief. All right. Well, let's see. What what are what are our options? Do we have any good options? Oh, we replace. You know what? Yeah, it's fine. we'll replace the one double thing. We'll get rid of this other SRM. Let's get rid of this SRM. <sighs> okay, let's swap out the medium lasers and let's put in some better medium lasers. These tier four ones specifically. All right. Let's take out the medium pulse laser here and let's go down to our medium pulse laser tier threes. Let's put in these better ones. Okay. We're doing better here. All right. Let's take a look at what we've got for LRM tens, right? Since we're repairing this back, let's, let's really try to do this right. We've got, we got seven of these. Let's do that. Take out the streams. So what I like about these so the streams tend to have a, a, a smaller missile cluster, but they take longer to actually read uh, because they you, you have the whole animation of them firing out kind of one by one. So you end up with a slightly... The standard LRM has a better rate of fire. You could just keep pumping out the LRM fire. But the streams, again, almost have a... a almost like a, a mini Artemis... Uh, thing to them so they tend to hit the same location a little bit more often but I think I'd rather 
have LRM tens that do more damage and fire a little faster. Because then I can, I would say, I could fire three LRM ten, or maybe I could fire a full four LRM ten volleys at the same time it takes me to fire three LRM ten volleys. Greetie, ah, oh, welcome back, Sal. So yeah, we're we're just trying to recover from uh from sucking a lot, <laughs> but we're still having fun with this. Now I'm just gonna have to deal with SRMs here. Let's see, what do we got for SRMs? We got SRM twos here. So let's put the good SRM twos in. We're gonna, whoops, no, that's not what I wanted. SRM two. There we go. All right. And so now let's take a look at what we got for SRM. Now what we could do, I could actually put SRMs at Artemis on here if I really wanted to, but then I'd be mixing and matching SRM ammo and that just doesn't seem like a good plan. So SRM six and SRM six it is. These are not terrible. God, it's going to take 105 days to prepare this mech. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, right? Get good, bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, skill issue. Yeah, no. Uh, we also uh, had the unfortunate uh, luck to run into a king crab, and that was that was bad. That was very, very, very bad. So, you know, with the 100, uh, 100 tonnets, uh, Stuka SRM, oh, hmm. Stuka SRM ammo. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of that. Streak SRM ammo, and we'll put in another SRM ammo. There we go. We'll just do that. Perfect. Okay. That works. Okay. This this is fine. We will still lay waste, but now we don't have to worry about the lock-on with this. It would have been nice to have had... Oh, you know what? We Yeah, I could mix and match the Streaker SRMs, but no, let's not. Let's not. Okay. Actually, we do better firepower in this configuration. So, yeah, we'll start work on that. Under tonnage? Oh, why am I under tonnage? Oh, I still have a ton left. What did I not put in? What did I not put in? My ass is my hole. I keep on farting wherever I go. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was awesome. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to do that while I get through this. Did I have a... Maybe I had a standard... Uh, maybe I just had a standard heat sink. Or maybe streak SRM2s take up a little more um, weight. So, whatever. All right. Well, I don't have the room for this. So, I could put in more ammo. Although, I have three SRM ammo. Which I really feel like is plenty. Two LRM ammos for, you know what, let's just put in a little extra ammo. We'll do that. That way I don't have to worry about it. I can be a little more liberal with that. Let's start work. Yeah, it's going to take 106 days. Uh, long range missile. Another ton of it. Yep. Okay. So yeah, we were thinking the same thing. Um, <laughs> See, so yeah, I just added another ton of LRM ammo. We were probably thinking the same thing. That way I don't have to worry about running out of ammo with the LRMs as much. So this works and yep cool cold storage cool now i have two urban mechs so now if i get any more of them i can just sell them perfect okay so that sucked but we can now recover let's oh let's take a look at equipment here let's take a look have your rifle no you're not gonna offer that to me no of course not. why would you why would you give me something i've been looking for like for like days literally uh, okay. What do we got? Collect one centurion map. Ooh, didn't we, didn't we collect a centurion or did I not collect a centurion? Did I not collect that centurion? Shit. We didn't collect that centurion. Can I buy a centurion? Fucker. <laughs> Cause that would be really nice. Uh, target acquisition gear. That's, that's top tier. Yeah. That's, that's worth it. If we can get it, we just have to find a centurion mech. War dog is okay. Oh, we could just do this one instead of that. Oh, that's SRM too. Yeah, that's not that big. Arg. Yeah, we still get a bunch of these. Sure, let's do it. Fuck it. And we certainly get enough warrior units. They swarm these with us, but whatever. We got this. Okay. <sighs> that being the case, now what? Do we go to Do we go to Callaway and do this defense contract for the enemy of my enemy? 
and just try hope for the best and not get our ass kicked again or do we try making our way over here because by then we'll have Agincourt and we can get ourselves a yeah but then we'll be all the way over there now nah, let's do it let's do it mission let's do it let's go to Callaway let's try doing this and try not dying as much I swear I should just play blind guardian while while doing some of these missions I can almost just hear it when things start going south that <laughs> oh man good grief okay, I don't see anything there and nothing. okay let's do this the enemy of my enemy although you averted a war between the free worlds league and the capellan confederation the still disguised lexington combat group is lashing out at the local at a local colony defend the civilians from the mercenaries hostility all right so we got to defend here let's let's at least make two million and then we'll go max salvage the rest of the way mm, yes because i have a feeling there's going to be some good shit in this we look good here. All right. When in doubt, just say fuck it and bust out the YOLO max, right? Right? Uh, so, you know, I don't know if this game does have a huge player base. Uh, I think it's got a decent player base. I don't know if I would call it huge. <laughs> yeah, that's what I really should do. I should just have a second tier of YOLO max of like, eh, I know I'm going to get wrecked, but at least this way I don't care. <laughs> that's, that's actually not a bad idea, Darkstar. <laughs> That is not a bad idea. God damn. Looks like we found a place, Commander. All right, so we got to defend this place. Welcome to our abode, Commander. Years of blood, sweat, and tears went into this place, and we aren't about to let no one tear that away from us. You're Let's go see what happens. My me. alpha striking yellow mech and mech warrior. <laughs> oh my god. So I was telling Chad about that the other day, but you weren't around. Remind everybody what it actually was. It was amazing. Fire started. Come on, hit, hit before the, yeah, I lost it. Damn. All right, this, I'm still gonna lose it. Okay, we got this now. Oh, fucking hell. This fire starter's gonna be a problem. Come on, guys. Shoot that thing. Thank you. Yeah, we're messing it up now. Yeah, let me get a better beat on it. Come on. Oh, that works. Hey, thank you for shooting, jumping in the air. Letting me see you. That was awesome. Come on, come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Get down to a nice heat. 69. Boom. Come on, come on. Destroyed that mech. Yes, you did. And I am glad you did. Yeah, let's go after that Kentaro first. That Kentaro can hurt us bad. Then we'll deal with the Thunderbolt. Second, we're going to get our... There it is. Now we should be good to go. Opening fire. Come on, come on. Okay, we got this. That Thunderbolt is going to be a problem, but we'll worry about the Thunderbolt in a second. But all those SRMs on that thing. Aww. It dodged it. I was going for the kill shot. Good, they got it though. They finished it off. Thank goodness. Burn that target down. That's right, Marsh. Thank you. Okay, now the advantage of the uh, Thunderbolt here is uh, it keeps its ammunition in the center torso. So if we get a set, we get a critical hit in the center torso, this thing will just go right up. Seraph. Additional hostile 
I think I got a headshot on it. Good. Come on, buddy. I am in range. Come on. Thank you. We got it. Oh, there's our... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, they lured us off on this direction and then dropped over there. Fucking smart, actually. Oh, fuck. And we got a blackjack over here. Shit. All right. Let's deal with the blackjack. Let's not get... Let's deal with the blackjack. Yep, I'm gonna draw its fire. Not great. Oof. Wow, that was an. I'm surprised we got that off. Let's get away from all that. We're gonna let that attack the facility for a minute. We need to pull them away from the buildings. Uh, what we need is to not die, Rihanna. And that's my plan. <laughs> we need to deal with that awesome. That fucker can hurt us. Shit. Damn, it's going after us anyway. Shit. Come on, get a target lock, get a target lock. There we go. Got this thing. We'll be able to cool off while I'm behind the hill here. Shit. Ah. Avoid this sucker. Fine. Not what how I wanted to do this, but... Shit, and it turned its head. Turn towards me, you fucker. There we go. I got you now. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. I got this. Nice kill, Commander. That mech went crit, too. Copy. We're on it, sir. <sighs> I think we got the awesome because it's Break. out of sight. Need defensive support. Oh, Captain Marsh, what are you losing? Nah, I don't have the angle on it. Now we've got this guy. Come on, come on. Eat. There it is. Someone else will get the hot the hit. Nope. If I'm over here. You can't hit me. Nice shot. Good job. You must have really kicked over the I'm not much of a sci-fi guy. <laughs> if I shot something at that, yep. <laughs> I, I thought that was the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> oh my god, I used to laugh so hard. Uh, ah, the third time would kill you. Right, I, that's what I couldn't remember. I just couldn't remember how many times you could shoot it before you died. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna lose target lock on this in a second. But well, let's pick on this Shadowhawk, and then we'll deal with the rest of that in detail. Ah, I thought I'd still take it out. Come on, guys. Do your job. Ah, oh, it's still hitting me. Damn. How is it hitting me? It shouldn't be hitting me from that location. There we go. Oh, now we got it. Ooh. Yeah, come on. Jeez. Bad shooting there. Ugh. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Focusing fire. No, we dealt with that. Being ripped apart over here. Uh, Marsh, we're We got our own problems, buddy. Yeah, shit. Oh my god. Alright, this is... Oh my god, you got cord? Oh my god, what's going on here? We should have the edge on these guys. Ugh. 
fuck, you blew off my arm, the bastard. That sucked. Yeah. Shit, we gotta avoid that crit. Damn it, I still didn't avoid that fucking explosion. No, don't run in my way! Oh, why do you guys do that? I'm gonna overheat. Fuck. Yep, I realized it the second I hit the button. Oof. Come on, come on, come on. Wake up. Wake up. Oof, this is bad. Good grief. Well, this wasn't, uh, optimum. <laughs> Ugh. Good, you guys are dealing a decent job on there. Man, I haven't even gotten through this guy's armor yet. Now yeah, we got through its armor. Critted its machine gun. Come on, cool off, cool off, cool off. Thankfully, I still have my good primary large lasers. this guy now. Alright. Well, that wasn't great. You've made a real difference today. Those civvies owe you their lives. Uh, Alright, so, sorry about that, Sal. I saw what's the object. I assume you mean what's the object of the game? Um, so this is basically science fiction Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's the best way I could describe it. Before Game of Thrones was ever out there. It is... It is a, a lot of fun. Um, oh, I was so short of the awesome. But that's all right. We can pick up this cataphract. Let's... Yeah, we'll pick up an LRM-15 stream. Yeah, we'll pick up that large laser in case I need it. And that... No. Pick up that. That's a good one. And we'll go with that one. Oh, Marsh died. Fuck. To Captain Marsh. Wow, he didn't even take that much damage either. He just got cored. He just got cored. Fuck, man. Fuck. And you were in uh, a hero archer too. Oh my god, and there's a part three of this fucking shit? Oh my goodness gracious. Holy fuck. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Let's, uh... <sighs> shit. Shit, we did not make enough money from that. My god. We're just getting our asses kicked tonight. Had a really awesome victor. Got that cord. Got this awesome Agincourt, got that cord. Had a hero archer, that got cord. My god. This is, uh, this is like lunacy, man. And it still won't give me this heavy rifle tier 2. That's the biggest amount of bullshit ever. God, that sucks. Right. Well, let's see. How bad is this to actually repair? Of course, we lost a double heatsink. Um, yeah, two, two million sea bills in 63 days. Jesus. Oh, we had an extra guard. Oh, no, this guardian AC ECM didn't actually get damaged. All right, and it replaced the double heat sink. Okay, well. All right, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So let's repair that. Uh, let's, let's sell the cataphract we just picked up. Let's sell this so that we get at least, we at least break even on a repair bill. We'll sell the cataphract for that. Is there any better cantina things? I don't think so. Probably, well, okay. Light rifle tier four? Do I have light rifle tier four? Let's go check. I do. So guess what we're doing, folks? <laughs> All right, let's uh, 
let's abandon this. They're not giving it to us. This would be nice to have. It would have been nice to get the double heat sinks, but they're just, they're not giving us the heavy rifle tier two. So we're going to abandon that. We are going to go here. We're going to do that, except let's go right here. Job rewards. Yes. Give me the tier five ER fucking PPC. Hell fucking yeah. All right. So not great, but it's, it's better and it's better. Yeah, these 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 latest missions, man, they are really pouring it on to us, huh? All right, uh, let's take a look and see what other cantina things there are. Kill three grasshopper mechs. Actually, I we haven't really found any grasshoppers. Although an AC-10 burst fire wouldn't be bad, but... Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're fine here. Okay, let's go back here. Let's repair these. Let's, uh... You lost an arm. Yeah, it happens. It happens. It happens to you guys more often than it should. Not a big deal. PPC. Yeah, we'll substitute with that. Actually, you know what? You guys seem to be doing pretty well with these PPC Xs. Let's go with that instead. I think you'll handle that better. Order. Everything looks good here. Yes. Uninstall the damaged one and reinstall the non-damaged one. That looks good. Okay. Okay. So, we're recovering here. <sighs> That's a demolition contract. Do we just go back out there? Let's take a look, actually. Work orders. So, we've got our two archers. We back up and running in 63 days. We could just run around a little bit and buy us some time before our archers come back online and try that again. We could try that. We don't have anything that looks good over here, but we could go over to this cantina, see what's here, and then just head up here and do our demolition contract. Because that would be 20 days. This will probably be another 20 days. Well, that's 40 days. I mean, I don't want to wait. Let's, uh... No sense wasting time though either. All right, let's let's do that. Let's go to this one. Let's see what cantina is here. Maybe there's something good. And then yeah, we'll just go up there and we'll just wait the net the rest of the twenty days. It's certainly not from a time from a calendar standpoint, not optimal, but we'll try this. We'll try this. Kill three marauders. Well, we're. We've been seeing Marauders, actually. I don't want flames. We could do this. Well, we could do that one. Merrick Liao border and collect one behemoth dropship flight computer. <laughs> For a tier four gauze rifle, that, uh, that might be worth it. That really might be worth it. ER large laser and double heat sinks. We are seeing mar Marauders. Definitely are seeing Marauders. Yeah, let's do it. We'll go with that one. Okay. Is there anything worth buying? At this point. I was actually surprised not to see it now that we kind of abandoned it. Uh, let's buy those. Those would be good for a Marauder. Or a uh, Warhammer. Perfect. So far. All right, Phoenix. Have a good one, Nate. I will talk to you approximately later. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be up all that much later. I think I'm just going to do one. I'm probably, I'm probably only going to do one more mission here and then call it myself. It would be nice to at least wrap up this one. So yeah, let's go to Danish Mand. We'll do a demolition contract. Yes, let's set course there. We got a Warhammer refit, and we'll just wait the rest of the time. Oof. The grind is real. The grind is real. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so we gotta kill a bunch of locusts, marauders. Yeah, we just have, at this point, we just have uh, a bunch of kill assignments. But we should have a fun time with that. Demolition. All right, so we're going to do one airstrike support. 
you know what? We might just go max Seabills here. You know what? Let's go to airstrike support in the hope that we can, um, in the vain hope that we can demolish it in two airstrikes. Oh, man. That was... Yep, Juarez, you're back out there. Oh, I should have probably hired a new pilot. Fuck. All right. Well, you know what? We'll we'll deal with that when we head up that way. Okay, Agincourt. You will be... Yep, mission starts in 30 days. All right. Let's try this again. We will wait. We will wait and then do this. All right. Actually, I should do a quick bio break real quick before we start that. Oof. There it is. Alright, we got this. We got this. This scheme to spark all out war with House Liao. We've been given the green light to level their base and put a stop to their plot. Our employer has all cared the use of airstrike on this mission. Stand by for strike confirmation. And hopefully, we can get a good vantage point. Oh, yeah, let me do let me do that before we do anything else. Give me two seconds. Let me just pause and deal with my bladder. I will be right back. Okay, we got this. Let's do this. Let's end things on a strong note. Even though this is going to be a high reward, tough mission. But I got a, I got a good feeling about this one. I know, famous last words. <laughs> famous last words. All right, looks like we should be able to see it from over here. Oh, that was nice. A little farther. Sierra 2-1 reporting in. We are standing by, ready to deliver the payload. Over. Good. Brilliant. Payload acquired. Now I don't see shit. I wonder if I'm over there, will I be able to see the demolition target? Ah, fuck. Oh, damn it. Fuck this focus. Here it comes. Oh, you bastard. Good job, guys. <laughs> that is how you waste a fucking <laughs> wave of locusts. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. If I could get a good vantage point. Although the damn terrain is going to fuck me over on this one, isn't it? 
Uh, all right, maybe if we're over there, we can see it. It looks like it's going to be down below. All right, you know what? Let's do that. Let's just try to see. Let's try and go down here and see our target a little bit. You know, I should actually check and see if I could mount jump jets on this archer. I bet I could. I didn't even think about that when I was trying to, when I was reconfiguring this thing. I bet I could have. I'm guessing we won't be able to see it. Shit. Well, let's try it. Maybe we can hop up there. Get a vantage point. So if I could see the damn location and call in an airstrike, that would be so helpful. Yep, whatever. Oh, nice shot. All right, got a J. Edgar unit over there somewhere. Let's head back up this way. Well, the fact that they were patrolling over here, hopefully that means that this is a spot where I can, in fact, call out an airstrike. And if they were defending it. Nah, god damn it. Well... Maybe we could fight them in the open here and we don't have to fight them in close quarters. Yep, well, here they come. Damn it. Not how I wanted to do this. Oh, come on, guys. Really? Okay, we'll deal with this asshole first. Damn, that didn't kill you. Fuck. Hi, cat. I love you, cat. Ow. Hi, honey. Damn it. Fine. Oh, you're still not dead. Now you're dead. We got him. Okay, you guys got the mech. Perfect. Let's just proceed to the damn target. Because now they're just going to continue to land over and over again. Hello, kitty kitty. I know I love you too. Yeah, I was really hoping we could call in that airstrike at a distance. Fuck, that sucks. Oh, well. Turret. There it is. I'll leave the rest of the demolition job up to you, Commander. Okay, hey, these guys can't shoot at me. All right. All right, let's get the hell away from it. Let's get the hell away from that. I don't want to be in the area effect of it. Okay, good. Well, that airstrike was helpful. Is here, now I just walk through the walls. I found just walking through walls is so much quicker to do damage. All right, we got this. All right, that was helpful. Now let's get the hell out of here before friends arrive. Alpha one, one. This is Sierra, two, All right, so if we see a dropship coming, I could hopefully land an airstrike on it. I actually thought I was going to need two airstrikes. It's okay. Let's try and get out of here before friends arrive. We might actually be okay here, though. My god, can you imagine if we're alright? Oh, here we go. I think I managed to get landed in the area of effect. Let's find out. Come on, airstrike, hit that thing. Can go 
fuck yourself. Target destroyed. Okay. Yeah, when we're not running into a king crab, this, this mech's not bad. <laughs> this mech is not bad. Yeah, that airstrike didn't really do a whole lot to that, uh... You know what? We didn't really get a lot of salvage. Fuck it. Let's just get the hell out of here. We're not being paid to fight these guys. Although we are... I think we're being paid to take out javelins, aren't we? Hide over here so they can't shoot back at us. <laughs> Alright, that is how a fucking mission's done. All right, ending on a strong note here. <laughs> that is how that's fucking done. All right. Goodness gracious. Hello, Cleo. I know, I know. Is it time for David Attenborough? Is that what you're telling me? It's David Attenborough time. So my cat likes to watch TV, something my ex got her, got her doing. Uh, I literally have a cat potato. She, uh, When we go to bed, she likes to have the TV on and she likes to watch nature programs. In particular, she loves anything narrated by David Attenborough. So I'm thinking, ooh, we got an Orion out of that? Well, that's pretty awesome, actually. I was not expecting that. All right, that's a pretty good mech. Yeah, that was okay. Finally, we're getting some good shit here. All right, now we're fucking talking. Okay. Halle fucking Luya. We still have to do this. But we're our, since we got to go on our way anyway, well, we'll go here. We'll repair. And then we'll deal with that war zone the next time we play this. Whenever that happens to be. Ugh. Oh, it's so nice to actually end on a strong note. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Alright. I can't believe the first half of that particular arc they they threw a king crab at us. That's just lunacy. And yeah, that, that was like two AC-20s to the center torso and that was, that was just all she wrote. Oh my god. Uh, all right, so Comstar declares, there it is, we 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 got it. Comstar declares sir, third succession war over. So yeah, I was two years early. I was two years early. The succession war is over. All right, so let's do a little bit of bookkeeping here. Um, I actually kind of like the idea of uh, of repairing this. We actually legged it, which is cool. So I don't think it's gonna be all that. Yeah, it still has most of its equipment in there. You know what? This isn't going to be all that expensive to repair. Yeah, it's not even a million sea bills to repair. That is worth it. Fuck yeah, we're doing that. Hell yes. That is awesome. That's going to be a better mech, honestly, than the Warhammer. It takes a lot less damage. It's a lot more survivable. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh my god, yes. Although I may... Well, it's a short range variant of the Orion, but still, I think that's a great plan. That is fantastic. Well, uh, right, this got a little fucked up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look at our LRM situation. LRM 15s. And we got actually we got a bunch of LRM 15s. Fuck it. We use these enough where I think this is worth it. That that is worth it. That is worth it. Okay. Let's repair you. My god, we took very little damage. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, we got another hero mech up there. Do we even bother taking a look at it? Uh, it's probably crap. It's probably crap. Especially since we want to go over here. We want to, we want to go over here and finish this one. We've come this far. Let's at least finish defending the honor and doing a... Uh, in doing this, but I do want to see what this war is, what this fucking uh, hero mech is. Let's go take a look at it. Because again, it could it could be something really good. It could be something really good. But what I'll do is we'll travel to the other area, 
And that's where we'll we'll kind of cut things for tonight. We'll see who's on. See, actually, a hero dragon is not terrible. That is not terrible. It's not good, but that's actually not terrible. It's better than the freaking commando that we saw here last time. But yeah, not not worth not worth spending our money on. And I don't see any really valuable equipment in here. And it's still not giving us that tier two rifle, so that actually doesn't make me feel all that all that terrible now. Uh, I was I was thinking it was going to start dropping that left and right. As, oh, well. All right, so we wasted an extra essentially two weeks to go up that way. Well, we might have wasted three weeks because we went took two weeks up and then it took an extra week to get bound. Hey, if that was an awesome hero mech, it would have been worth the trip. But it is a little annoying that you can't just hover over the system and see what mechs are for sale. Ah, all right. Well, okay. So, yep. Okay, so this this is some this is some cool shit. So we could do the contracts here for defending the honor. We will do that. However, at the very beginning of next stream, we will begin Legend of the Crestal Lancers. That's what that priority transmission is for. Uh, so that's a perfect stopping point. And. Save the game. Everything's repaired at this point. We're good to go. We're ready to drop. Our yeah. So the victor was a bit of a wash, but Agincourt ended up being pretty good, thankfully. So we got we did end up getting a good mech out of the deal. So let's see. This today we went a thousand basically a thousand days uh, in today's stream. We we were not very efficient with time, but we did go up in reputation. It was a good day. So let's exit. Let's uh, let's find out who we're going to raid out to here. Let's see. And uh, also my usual plan. I think I am going to continue to stream on Tuesday night. I think that's going to be my plan, barring schoolwork. As everybody knows, uh, sometimes my school schedule does interfere with that. Or sometimes I'm just on a roll and it's like, all right, I'm on a roll. We got to do this. But let's see. Is anybody on? Uh, let's see. Oh, Kara Jitsu's on. Fuck yeah. Let's raid Kara. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go get this raid started here. Let's get this all fired up. Let's get ready to go to uh, go to Karajitsu. We'll say hi to him. See how he's doing. In uh, any event, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know, Kat. I know it's ready for it's it's time for David Attenborough. I know I'm getting up. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's raid. He even says short stream, but F it. We're going to go say hi to him. And uh, everybody, I hope you have a great one. Take it easy, and I will talk to you all uh, approximately later. Have a great week, all of the things, <laughs> and I'll see you later. As soon as Twitch is ready. <laughs> it's almost ready. There we go. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Sayonara.